We are back. It is day three. <laughs> and uh, before we get into it, as you can see, we're, we're hanging out at, uh, at Winnebago. We're going to cover them this morning. Um, Mary, if you're watching this, we went back to uh, uh, Rockwood for you. They do not have the model number you're looking for here on property. Um, <laughs> a lot of these companies, they have so many models, it's hard to get them all squeezed in. So we did try to look, but they do not have, uh, what is it? The 2912 BS. 20. 912 BS, you're gonna to wanna to mute that, sorry. They do not have the 2912 BS here, so we apologize. We did go look. So, we are gonna start off right here. This is a brand new prototype. It's a mini, okay? It is the 2832 FK. Um, as I said, prototype. So they've already figured out from being here, they're gonna make a couple of uh, minor changes to it, but we wanted to definitely get up here and, and show it to you from the beginning. So, we're going to uh, give this to Lisa. We'll start off at the front. Look, you can put bikes in there. Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? Wow. So you don't need a rack in the back, right? You have a spot to put your bikes right up here in the front. That's crazy. And I think if you turn the handlebar sideways, you probably get a couple of them up there. I, I think you might be able yeah. to. Nice. Excellent. All right. If you uh, look back just a little bit, Lisa, as you mm -hmm. can see, there's an awning that covers the entire side of it. Remember, it's a prototype, right? Uh, two entrances, which is great. All right. Dual axle. And you do have some additional storage here in the back, which is actually huge. Wow. And it is a heated, you see the register? It's a heated underbelly. I do see I that. I love that. Um, electric stabilization jacks, okay? It, they're not auto level, but you just press a button and they go down for you, okay? In the back, you see tire mounted there, which is great. There's a ladder to get you up to the top to do your inspections. Pre-wired for uh, wireless backup cameras. Here is the other side of that storage here in the back, which is awesome, and your controls for your jacks, okay? Um, your sewer connection's right there, power, satellite, water, outdoor shower, all right here, which is awesome. As you can see, there's another slide on this side. There's another sewer connection right here. I love that it's nice and accessible. And then, of course, here's the other side of that front cabinet for your bikes. Oh, there's also a disconnect for your batteries right here, which is cool. You just turn that and it turns off the juice to the battery. So if you're not using your RV, it's not putting a drain on the batteries, okay? Um, even though this is a prototype, let's get the weight because it may change just a little bit. Uh, but your gross vehicle weight on this is, where is it? That's your cargo carrying capacity, 2,426 pounds. Your gross vehicle weight, 8,800 pounds. Um, what is it dry? So you, we just take the 8,800 pounds, sub, subtract the uh, 2,426 from it. So you're uh, 6,300 and change uh, when it's dry, okay? You already have uh, two 30-pound protein banks, which is awesome. Electric jacks, uh, right? Get that off your truck nice and easy. So let's go on inside, Lisa. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you again. Day three here. Wow, this is nice. Look at this, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Right when you come in, your kitchen is to the right. I love this. When you're carrying those heavy grocery bags, you just drop them off right here. That's right? awesome. I love that. And look, you have plenty of countertop space to do that. Yeah, right? <laughs> a lot of times, especially in the smaller RVs, um, there's there's not a lot of countertop space. And I kind of have a little countertop envy, I yeah. think. Um, so, yeah, these are nice um, countertops here. The nice, nice corner sink. Um, that is a single basin sink. We've got the tall faucet. I like having the window here. Um, and this is a great little suggestion of things you can, you know, do in the back. If you don't, maybe you're not a coffee drinker and you don't want a coffee pot back there, then you yeah. can do that. Um, we do have a nice three burner stove. Um, that is a drawer. There's no oven. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> All right. There's yeah, the drawer. Yeah. You put your big pans in there. <laughs> so no oven. Right. Now underneath the sink, let's see what we have here. We do uh, have yeah, some so space there. Down there. You just have to go around the pipe. Mm -hmm. right, you go and we have plenty of storage drawers here as well. Right, let's not forget the cabinetry up top. We've got right. some cabinetry up there. Which uh, is also awesome. the microwave. We don't want to forget that. That is a Furion right. microwave. A little food pantry over here to the left. Yes. All and right. Look. Should we give it the test? Sure. We'll give it the test. Okay, pretty thin, and as you see, not supported underneath. So 
Uh, I think we're going to have a, a, a drive-by uh, Winnebago rep come in, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have at him for you we guys. We definitely <laughs> will. And then again, there's some more storage drawers there. And then right there behind is. Lisa is your Dometic refrigerator. Yes. And uh, let's see. I believe this one is 12 volts, which is awesome. Okay. And right next to that, you've got some theater chairs. Yeah, right? those are nice. And uh, you've got your, uh, your cup holders in the middle. Are it's those sort of, fabric? Um, they are fabric. And I do like that. Yeah. You know, we've got like the faux leather ones, the Thomas Paine and ours. We love them. They're very comfortable, but the, the, it's all ripped apart. We have to have it recovered. Yes. Left and right are here, a little, some end tables, if you will. There's power, USB charging ports. There's a wireless charging plate back here as well, so you can just lay your device on top of that. Very nice. Um, and directly across from us is the TV, Lisa. Yes. The TV's above the dinette, um, as you can see as, as she sits down in the chair. Right, so it's it's actually in a good place uh, while you're sitting here in the living room, but it's also right above. Uh, there you go. And as you see, it's sort of a, a legless dinette uh, table, so it's easy to get in and out for us tall people, which is awesome. But that does uh, go down to become a bed, so there's another bed there. Exactly. Um, there is a door on this one for storage, mm -hmm. um, but typically, uh, like this one here, you just take off on the left. You take off this cushion uh, here, and you can get access. There's actually a little hole there, so you can store stuff underneath there as well. Right. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. So as we keep on going, the bathroom is kind of in the middle. And, uh-oh, uh well, you know what time it is, right? We got to get on there. If you're new to our streams, I am six foot four, so use my height as reference as we're walking around, okay? And as you can see, at my height, not a problem. Plenty of space in here, okay? Sort of to my left and behind me is the uh, the vanity. I love all the extra countertop space in here. Yeah, right? that's nice. You know, we full time, and, and I, I don't know how everybody that's watching uses your RV, but things just, you need things, right? You need your toothpaste, and you need soap, and maybe some paper towels, and lotions and potions, and, and sometimes the countertops end here, and it's hard to have all that stuff out. I right. love having the extra countertop space. Yeah, right? that's awesome. You got a little corner uh, cabinet up there if you mm -hmm. want to put some of your your medicines and stuff, or you know, all them drugs, right? <laughs> and then a, a little drawer here, and then you have uh, uh, some cabinet space down there as well. It's a little shallow in the bottom, but it's it's deeper on the top, mm -hmm. okay? Plus the little cubby right there. Yeah, the a little cubby right here, right? Yeah. Right, so maybe you put your towels in there. Beautiful, and I think that's tall enough for a tall man to see. It is tall enough for the tall man to see. <laughs> so speaking of tall man, let's get in the shower. Now this shower is raised up. So it is going to present some challenges for the tall people in the world, okay? Um, there is a, a skylight. Again, I call it a bubble. but um, And because of the size of the shower and where the bubble is, I can move around a little bit, okay? But in this size shower, you're not really moving around a lot anyway. You're just really turning to get soap and bend down to rinse and stuff. So it, honestly, I would, not, uh, I would not have a problem with this one. In fact, it's also got my favorite uh, my favorite door, right? <laughs> so, um, actually, Lisa, this 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 reminds me a little bit of our shower. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit smaller, but um, yeah, I I don't have a problem with this one. From a height standpoint, there's four fingers above my head, which is about uh, three inches, so you could be six seven ish and be okay in the shower. Okay, so here is the front area. Um, what they told us they're going to change, they're going to make this area a little longer. So they're actually going to make this RV a little bit longer, so you have some more space in here to walk around. All right? Oh, by the way. It's a little tight Look here. what else we brought today. We brought our tape measure. <laughs> All right? So this bed is, ooh, it might be 60 because it's, so I think when they're done, they'll make it 60 by 80. So I believe it'll be a residential queen when they're done. Again, remember prototype, right? This is why they also bring them here. So a lot of people can walk around and give them feedback, okay? So where I'm standing, right on the other side of me is a little cabinet, okay? So you can put uh, some stuff in there. And as you see, I'm standing by a door, so there's separate access to the bedroom, which is awesome, okay? Um, up here in the front, you have some cabinetry. Uh, you can hang some things in there. There's a little drawer down here so you can store things in there out of the way. Um, there is power on both sides of the bed on top of these little <laughs> nightstands. And because the underbelly is heated, this bed isn't going to be cold at night. That's awesome. That's a big plus. All right. Absolutely. So why don't you go grab the water, Lisa? I'm going to go out this door here. So again, brand new prototype, right? So it's a mini. This is the 2832 FK. So if uh, you like this prototype, be on the lookout for it. It'll be on the market soon. Um, but it being a prototype, they're going to make some changes. 
Um, it is going to sell for somewhere around 37-ish, okay? All right, so let's go look at another Mini. Let's look at this one right here. This might be a bunk, all right? So yeah, it is, this is the bunkhouse. This is the 2301 BHS, all right? And there's the price, a 37. There's your floor plan. And again, we will go inside here in just a second. All right, we'll give this back to Lisa. We do have front storage in this one, right? Decent storage, guys. That is a very big storage area. It is pretty large, okay? yeah. You got an awning that covers about, uh, oh, I don't know, about 80% of this entire side, which is great. You know, this reminds me a lot of the setup of ours from the outside, the doors towards the back. Mm -hmm. Right. Looks like the kitchen's here, front bedroom. Yeah. Yep. Double mm -hmm. axle. You got an outdoor kitchen right here, which is great. Um, this has got Asdell siding on it. Mm -hmm. You got a three-year structural warranty, Comfort Tech pack, Explore pack. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Love the Asdell side. Right. Okay. Very nice. In the back, you see there's a ladder already pre-mounted, so you can get up to the roof. Uh, your your spare tire is mounted on the back, and this is locked, so we'll show it to you from the inside. Okay. Um, it's a little tight down here on the side, so we can't get down there without, you know, we could probably scooch down there, Lisa, right? Yeah, we can scooch. All right. You do have electric stabilization jack, so you just press a button. Here's all your connection points, your water, your power, satellite, outdoor shower, sewer, all right there. So let's see if, you know what? I, I don't want to do that. Let's walk around to the front here. All That's right. just a little bit too tight. So we'll walk around to the front because I want you to see the weight on this one. Um, it is 29 feet nine inches. So for those who are looking for something around 30 feet, this might be a good one for you. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. The weight on this one, gross vehicle weight, 8,800 pounds with a 2,056 pound carrying capacity. So empty, um, it's about 6,600 pounds. Okay. And here's the other side of your storage right there. And here is the controls for your electric stabilization. So let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, two 30 pound protein panks already on board. Okay, so let's get inside. You got your Lippert solid step too. Okay, so right when you come in, there's a door right here, a nice sort of walk-in closet. So you can use this for all kinds of things, hanging jackets for, um, oh Jesus, boots and shoes and food pantry in the back there with the shelves, all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so right when you came in directly across from the door, right here's the door, right across from the door when you come in is your sofa. It's, it pulls out to become a bed and uh, it is that fabric-y type material. You do have some end tables left and right to put your drinks if you're drinking while you're watching TV. Some outlets and uh, USB ports. One regular USB and one uh, USB uh, uh, C in here, which is great, okay? Uh, directly across from us is the TV. Great spot for the TV, okay? Um, now, I'm not sure if you've noticed from us just walking around, but what is missing in this model is a dedicated dinette. So somewhere in here must be a table that you would be able to fold out and put right here. I would okay? agree. So when you're not using it, you can fold it and put it away. And when you are using it, uh, you can have it out. What I do like about that is you can actually put it outside. So if you're using the outdoor kitchen, you have a table out there, okay? Um, you do have some storage here underneath, obviously, right? As well as up top, okay? And right next to here is the kitchen. Yes. So we have a nice little corner kitchen. Um, we do have a three burner stove. Nice. Um, there is not an oven in this unit. We have a storage drawer. Pop some pans um, down here. Pop some pans. There is your access panel there. We do have three pull out drawers here. And underneath the sink, we have some decent space. Yeah, and that okay. goes all the way to the back, guys. It does. All the way to the back. All right. Now, the sink is a single basin sink. Single basin, nice tall faucet. Nice tall faucet. I like the, 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 the um, countertop. Yeah, the it's a solid surface. Yeah, it, it looks uh, not like solid surface. It's, um, it's just one piece is what I meant to say. Yes. Single piece. But I like that it's it's all around the Sort of the a kitchen. marbly look too. Yeah, nice. it is. Exactly. Um, overhead, we've got our Furion microwave. Um, we do have storage. And this that goes, goes all the way back to that corner. Correct. Nice. 
And we have and, some more and storage And you can here. get access to that corner from this side as well. Yeah. So at least you can use all that space. Absolutely. Now behind me is the refrigerator. Nice. Right. And, and this a is dometic, a dometic. 12 volt. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have some storage. And actually, I think that would be the food pantry. I think I would use that as a food pantry. I would agree. There and because it's kind of narrow, I wouldn't worry about needing extra support in there um, because it, it just, there's support here mm -hmm. and support here. So you would be just fine with putting heavy stuff in there. All right. So in the back, you've got your bunkhouse. All right. And that's where that storage door is. Lisa, if you could hold this for me real quick. Yep. Um, I believe this folds up. Yes. In the, in the bed is in my way, but this folds all the way up vertically, okay? And so if you want to take bikes with you, or I bet if you turned a kayak on its side, you could get a kayak in here. Um, it would it, it would end right here. It would have to, yeah. yeah. It would have to end right there at the TV. Yep. But there's ladders, sort of the ladder is built in right here. Mm -hmm. So you can have uh, steps to get up to the top bunk, which by the way holds 300 pounds, okay? okay. There's a curtain here so you can have privacy. Same thing on the bottom. There's a curtain here. All right. It's, it, I think it's the, the same size bunks as we have. Very nice. Okay. Okay. And of course, next to it is your bathroom. So of course, you know what time it is, right? Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you're just new to joining the stream, I'm six foot four. So use my height as reference as you see me sitting on these toilets. And at my height, as you can see, there's plenty of uh, leg room down here, right? It's a little tight, but it's, it's, you know, I'm not bumping anything. So at my height, it's okay. Um, right across from me again is a, a corner sink with a little extension so you have a, a little more shelf space up top to keep things, right? I do like those little extensions in the yeah, cubbies. I do too. Right, and then underneath you have some storage down there as well. Oh, easy. Easy, Mr. Gimbal. I know. Good morning, everybody. If you're new to the stream, let us know where you're from, right? Put it in the chat. Just let us know where you're, you're joining in from. We love to see you all from a height standpoint. Plenty of room for the tall people to see yourself in there. So let's climb in the shower. This looks to be like a 30 by 36. And that skylight being right in the middle, again, I'm really not limited to front and back too bad. Um, I can't get any further back than this, but I'm, I'm pretty much, if you see my feet down here, Lisa, I'm pretty much at the back of the, the shower anyway, so it's not bad, okay? Um, as far as height go, there's four fingers above my head before I'm touching. So again, six, seven-ish uh, max in the shower, all right? So let's go to the front, look at the bedroom. And Bob wanted to know if we did the knock test. <laughs> um, we did. We actually didn't do the knock test, Bob, only because the this cabinet is not very wide. And um, Lisa, if you can get, just get down there. See, there's a piece of wood right here and then another piece of wood right there. And so because this is very narrow, this wood and this wood is supporting the shelf very nicely, as well as there's a piece of wood up here in the front. So this is not going to bow on you, okay? If it was wider they definitely would want to put an extra support in there, but with a, a cabinet this narrow, um, you're not going to have a problem at all, okay? And then into the front, all right? So let's measure this. Um, this looks to be like a residential queen, but let's, let's confirm. Yep, we are 60. Oh, uh, you could do 60 by 80, but I think it's 60 by 78. Um, but you could do a residential queen in here. Yeah, there's enough there's room enough for that, and that two extra inches isn't going to need the support at your feet, so yep. that should be fine. And, and just so you can see, I mean, if it was the full 80, my feet would be really completely on, as opposed to they're just hanging off just a little bit, okay? Um, there's obviously some sort of nightstands left and right. There's power and USB on both sides, which is great. What is also kind of neat, Lisa, if you want to look onto this side, there's like a little cubby on either side. And so if you're a CPAP user, you could stick that up there and oh, still yeah. have plenty of space down here for other things that you might want to have out in your bedroom. Very nice. Okay. There is a little TV up in the corner. All right. It's a little TV, but again, you know, what do you, you know. It's, you're in a bedroom and yeah. it's not Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's okay. Right. We've got a big TV in, in our bedroom, but you know, I'm spoiled. All right, right behind Lisa is, is a cabinet for hanging clothes. A little bar up there, okay? Um, where we were before, there's a little drawer here, so you can keep some stuff there as well. Up above, there's a, a cubby. There's no doors. I personally prefer the doors, because when you're bouncing down the street, you know, stuff will bounce out of here. Um, so I personally like the doors, but, um, you know, this would actually be considered a price point type uh, um, a travel trailer, and so something's gotta give. In this case, it's the doors, all right? 
So hopefully you like this model. All right, again, we'll go back outside. This is the, the model number 2301BHS, okay? So we're going to cross over here and we're gonna go look at some of the micro minis, some of the tiny ones, all right? And so we're gonna look at this right up here. If y'all were with us last year, you remember Jordan. Say hi, Jordan. Hello. Jordan's busy this morning, so, all right? So this, this is a hike, the Winnebago Hike 100. Okay, in fact, I think, is this a new model? Let hike me, 100 is not, but they've done something. We had a hike on our list, so let me see which one that was. Yeah, look, look while she's looking for that, look, look at the suspension down here. You've got shocks, upgraded suspension. It's got this thing jacked up a little bit. You've got off-road tires. You've got bush guards here on the side. You got bush guards up front here, as well as all the way wrapping the front side of this like a cage. So if you are taking this off grid and there's some trees and things in your way, you can just plow right through it. We are looking for the Hike 100 FLX. It is the RV of the year. The Hike 100 FL what? FLX. All right, so we're gonna have to look for that. Okay, that's the Flex. So it could be that one right there, but we'll take a look. All right, so you can see there, this one, the 32 here at show. All right, so you do have an awning that covers the entire side. All right, your normal RV steps. You got a little uh, side box, which is great. And I mentioned the tires, they are Goodyear too. You have electric stabilization jacks. In the back, there's also an access door, right? So this is, I wouldn't call this for full-timer. This is the, you know, the weekend getawayers, right? Oh, yeah. You gotta go out into the, into the brush, Absolutely. into the woods. Absolutely. Get off grid, if you will, okay? There is a ladder to get up top right there. All right, from a weight standpoint, so you understand how, what something like this, your gross vehicle weight is 4,200 pounds and you can tow just, uh, put in cargo-wise, just over a thousand pounds, which means when this thing is empty, it's about 3,200 pounds. So you can tow this with really just about anything. Uh, a nice SUV would actually tow this nicely, okay? All right, so I'm gonna give that to Lisa. Let's go inside. Yeah, look at this thing. It's got everything you need. All right, so when you're in the back, that table is foldable, so you can take it outside or fold it out of the way. This bench, as you can see, folds up. So when you have cargo in here, again, this is made for an outdoor enthusiast, right? So that would fold up. It's, it's kind of like, also like a tiny, I, I would almost call it like a tiny toy hauler. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't have the ramp, but that's why this bench folds up because it, it's a wide space in here, okay? You do have two bunks, okay, as well. And, and this does fold down to be a bed as well. So if, when this folds down, this could be a big bed here across the bottom. Exactly. Okay. Right next to it is sort of a wardrobe area for clothing and things. With hang space. Yep. And behind Lisa is just a little kitchen. I mm -hmm. mean, it's it's tiny. You got a little Everchill fridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a, uh, a mini fridge. Mm -hmm. we're, in a, we're, in a, we're in a mini, so it might as well be a mini fridge. And a lot of times in these um, RVs, you don't even have a microwave. This one has a microwave, yep. so nice that's microwave. nice. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. it's a convection microwave, too, by the way. Is it? Yep. Yep, convection. See? Oh, look at that. Nice. Microwave. Now, this is Oh, nice. that's kind of neat, too. Oh, yeah, when you pull that, so now you have you some extra have... countertop. Exactly. That's cool. Yeah. That's great use of space, guys. Absolutely. And we've got a little, a little bit of storage, storage up here. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some storage above the sink. Mm -hmm. It is a small sink, but it's got the tall um, faucet in there, so you can still get some decent sized things in that, there. That is actually stainless. Stainless. Yeah. And, and I'm not sure why, what you'd use it for, but there's a, a wireless charging plate back there. Interesting. Fast charging. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And plenty of storage underneath yeah. that sink. Look at that. All right. So there's even a bathroom in here. We got to have that. It's a wet bath. Look at that sucker. Look at this. Nice. Okay. So, all right. So come, come where I'm standing, Lisa. All righty. Okay. So you, you're, you're, you're going to have to, it's not just walk in. All right. So these shelves have to come out. Okay. The toilet actually spins. And I'm not spinning it very well, but it actually spins. There you go. There we go, okay? And so, from the tall man standpoint, believe it or not, I fit in here. <laughs> <coughs> the towel is in my way right now, but when the towel's gone, um, this is not bad, guys, okay? 
You, you got a little corner sink right here. So when, when you're done on the toilet, well, you can wash your hands while you're sitting still. Um, <laughs> it being a wet bath, um, there is a curtain that would be here so the door won't get wet, okay? Um, but the shower head's right here. And so when I'm standing, I actually have, I've got, I got headroom in here. That's crazy. Right? That is crazy. I did not expect that. No, not at all. <laughs> I did not expect that. All right, so let me that. put these back in there. Be nice. <laughs> so this, you know, it's, it, you can hang dry stuff in here. Or when you're not using the bathroom, it's extra storage. I mean, it's just very well done. But these are plastic, so if they're in there while you're taking a shower, they can get wet. Awesome. That is great. <laughs> Again, this is a tiny little thing. Um, is, is the length out here? Yeah, it's only 15 feet, guys. Right? And so look at how much they squeezed into a 15 foot, well, 15 foot 11 inches. Okay, so it's, it's almost uh, 16 feet. But, but everything's in there, which is great. And That's, I do believe that this may be actually running on solar. Okay, it's Asdell Siding. It does say solar on board. Let's see if this is the, uh, the RV of the year. What, uh, we're looking for a flex, right? Oh, the flex is back yes. here. Yes. What, what, the what's 100 the number again? flex. What is it? 100 FLX. 100 FLX. All right, so we want to find that 100 FLX. Um, my guess is it's this one. You think? Yeah. I'm thinking this one. All right. There's the 100 series. This is... Nope, it is not. No, okay. But it is a 100 series. I thought look, with the paint job, that yeah, had look, to be look at it. Yeah, the detail on that, <laughs> ink, right? That's awesome. Absolutely. So we need to find that 100 flex. But we'll, we'll keep on looking. Twenty-three oh six BHS. All right, so this one's forty-three. Okay. Um, right. Twenty-five foot. Dry weight forty-eight oh eight. So let's go on in this one. This is actually a bunkhouse. Oh wow! All right, so this okay. is one of those Murphy bed type scenarios. All right, this thing folds down. All right, in fact, I'll, I'll do it for you guys. Actually, it's, it, it slides like that, okay? And then this just goes right down. And so now you have a bed. Uh, from, from a size standpoint, the bed itself is 55-ish by... 74-ish. So that is a full-size bed. All That's right, a so residential a full, full size, size. Yeah. right? And so you can get an idea of what that looks like with someone who's six foot four. Uh, uh. All right, my head's all the way at the top and my feet are dangling at the bottom. <laughs> but from a width standpoint, you know, you can fit two people on here. Mm -hmm. You just have to spoon all night long. What's wrong with that? All right? And but when you're done sleeping and it's daytime to create more room, and what's nice, by the way, is these pistons. It makes it so much easier to raise it up, okay? And then you just pick this back up, and boom, now you have a sofa. Very nice. Which is also great if you wanted to come sit here, Lisa. Sure, just I just second. wanted to get a good shot of the Murphy and, and bed. And look at the curtain, too, so at nighttime. Yeah. Because remember, this is a bunkhouse. Right. And so for the people sleeping um, up here, you can have some privacy. Very nice. But when you're sitting here, the TV's right there. So Perfect. it's a great, great, you know, viewing, right? Yeah, very Absolutely. nice. Just to the right there, there's your dinette. Now that also uh, converts into a bed, all right? And it's sort of a legless table. And so uh, you know, if you're tall like I am, you can uh, uh, get your feet in there easily. Um, we looked at one of these, uh, I think it was on day one. It was a different manufacturer, but a sort, sort of a similar setup, okay? Uh, notice this is raised up, okay? And the slide is raised up. So... Um, my head is, it's way above this. And so I would not want to be the person sitting in the inside because just to move, I'm bumping the glasses on my head. And so if you're tall like I am, your seated position would definitely be on the outside of the banquette. Okay. Trying to get a better perspective of your yeah. scooching. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yeah. If you, if you have to lift I, up. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just 
getting up enough so I can slide. I'm not really lifting up, but my head's touching. Okay? So, directly across from me is the kitchen mm -hmm. that has, uh, here on the end, it's got a little lift-up counter so you can get some more countertop space, which is right. great. Very because nice. countertop is really limited. You don't have to put it up. They, they, we can see what it is, right? It's, uh, it is yeah. narrow, so I did want to point That's that okay. out. But yeah. yeah. From the side. Okay, so we have um, a nice large single basin sink. We do have a three burner stove. Nice. Right? And we have, like in the other units, there is a nice storage drawer underneath. And I'm sure that's um, the electric. Yep. It is the electric panel. Yep. So we do still have, oh, that's for sponges and cleaning stuff. Um, we do have three large, oh, that's not a drawer. That is access to your access water. Access to plumbing. Yes, Excellent. to your plumbing. So that's nice. There's these. Nice. Nice storage yep. there. And above storage head, above. we do have a nice big cabinet. Nice. And we have a uh, convection microwave. Convection microwave, yes. Awesome. And that is, yeah. Yep. Very nice. And then another and then, refrigerator, right? Yeah. And that's 12 volt, I believe. Yep, another 12 volt refrigerator. Excellent. Now over here in the TV area, there's a cabinet underneath there. As you can see, there's a little bit of countertop space there, but you wouldn't be able to put too much up there because it would be in the way of the TV. Mm -hmm. But there is a wireless charger and plate there, as well as a little cabinet above, right? Now here are the bunks. Now, look, these are tiny bunks, okay? This is really gonna be kind of, you know, tight for an adult. You know, you, you've only got uh, 250 pound uh, weight limit there, okay? And so these are for the kids. They're, they're not for the adults, okay? And I do believe um, there's access from the outside. Um, oh no, there's not. Yeah, there is. So this is also, see, see that's the bed right there, but you see that it's up? So you can again put large like bikes and things in there when you're traveling, okay? So let's go look in the bathroom, all right? We're gonna sit on that toilet for you guys, of course. You've got to do the tall man toilet test and the tall man toilet test. This one passes Bing Passes all right uh, plenty of room so beneath the sink you got a little bit of storage Which is nice and then up here. You've got uh, a nice little uh, uh, Stainless sink a little faucet seat here look it's just enough countertop space put a little soap dispenser and a little cup for your toothbrush and stuff Right, so you can see there's just enough space for that uh, you do have a uh, uh, a medicine chest, and again, it's it's tall enough that I can see everything. Okay, and then a little space in there for your your, medi your medicines and things. As far as the shower goes, this is a corner, as you can see, and uh, my head is touching the bubble when I stand completely straight. So six foot four would be challenging in here. So I would say no more than really six two to give yourself a couple of inches. Um, but it is it, it is uh, not very good for someone my height. Okay. Other than that, I like the layout of it. Mm -hmm. You got a cabinet here for storing all your linens and things, which are nice. Yeah, those are huge cabinets. Yeah. All right, nice. let's go get another one. All right. So I was thinking about that 100 um, FLX that we were looking yeah. for, and I'm wondering if it's all of them, because if you look, they all say 100 series, uh -huh. and they all say Flex, FLX. Yeah, you see okay. that? But they just have different models within that. Okay, so let's, let's look at this one. Yeah. This is kind of a neat outdoor sort of area. I guess this might be, uh, you could use this as maybe an outdoor kitchen. Right? I think you could, yeah. there's power back here if you want to. You know, plug stuff in. Like, you could put a little refrigerator in here if yeah. you wanted. You could have, you know, an induction cooktop. Yeah. And then there's storage up here. Yeah. Or right. maybe they, an electric grill. got a little, little... little sink sort of thingy right here, which is cool for, for washing and rinsing. Nice. Which is nice. Yeah. Okay. You do have the bush guards all the way around like the first one that we saw. You've got some uh, over the tire kind of storage areas. There's also some access underneath here for storing stuff. Um, electric jacks. You have the incredibly beefed up suspension with the um, shock absorbers, um, upgraded Goodyear off-road tires. You still have a ladder to get up to the top. And there's a roof rack up there too, Lisa, so you can probably tie some stuff when you're going down the street if you want oh, to. Oh, look at that. I yep. bet you could put your kayak up there. Yep. <laughs> uh, one single pound, uh, one, uh, I think that's just 20. Yeah, it's a 20 pounder, but it's, it's hidden. It's underneath there, which is nice. Actually, it's kind of low. Hold this, Lisa. It, it's kind of low in there, so I wonder if it's just a 30, but Reese, oh, it, it's, it's tight on there, good. So we're gonna call that a 20 pounder, okay? And then as we come around here, again, you also have the, the box right there. So let's go in. Again, by the way, this is 
the H1316FB, and as you see, RV business, RV of the year, okay? Which I also forgot to show you this, we'll go ahead. So this, this is like the other one, 15 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight and stuff is not listed. So let's go over here, I sort of skipped that, and see if we can find out what the dry weight is. All right, gross vehicle, 4,200 pounds, and you can carry, let's just call it 890 pounds. And so uh, empty your uh, about 3,600 pounds, okay? 35, 3,600 pounds. That's not bad. Again, you can tow this with just about anything. All right, look at this thing, Lisa. This is nice. All right, so this this is really made, look, for the outdoor enthusiast, right? Yeah. You're going to sleep in here, but you're going to do everything else outside. Yeah. That's why the kitchen is sort of out there, um, if they make it out there. Though, in here, you do have the little uh, mini fridge. Mm -hmm. um, you have a convection microwave, mm -hmm. so nothing spared there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you've got your little sink in here as well. You've got the extra pull-out like the first one we looked at. There is solar on board already, which is amazing, right? So you're charging during the day, working off batteries. But, like, there's no table in here, right? So this it's just a full bed. This bed do doesn't convert. It's just a bed. Now, there's storage underneath the bed, which we sort of saw. And it, it's deep. It goes all the way in there, doesn't it? It does. I don't know where you go. Yep. And then there's a bunk up top. Now, there's also... A little net there so you as you're going down the road you can put stuff up there while you're driving down the road so yeah kind of a neat design all right there's a little cabinet here for storing clothes and things and we have that same wet bath that we had in the first one we were in and so i'm not going to climb on that toilet you know i fit on there so if you're six foot four the wet bath in the hike 100 flexes is great perfect if you're still tall yeah okay? so that's a great option because not very many of the tiny ones are great for tall people all right so let's go look at something larger we've looked at uh, a lot of the smaller ones so let's go back um, on this side over here and see if we can look at some of the longer ones for someone who's looking for something that's not a micro or a mini or a flex actually this one's interesting here look at this one lisa look at how tiny that is but it's got two axles oh my right yeah so this is another micro mini, okay? So this is the model number 1808 FBS, okay? Um, storage, huge storage up front. That is really big storage. It is. Dual 30 pound propane tanks, an awning that covers about eh, two thirds of the side, but it, it's covering the important areas, right? The door in and out and where you might be hanging outside here, okay? Ladder on the back, access to the spare tire, which is great. We'll get all the way around here so you can see. Here's where all your connections are, power, water, satellite, outdoor shower, sewer, it's all right there. Here's the other side of your storage compartment. Okay, sorry guys, there you go. And then the weight. This one, uh, capacity, 5,000 pounds. Okay, and it's got an 1,100 pound uh, cargo capacity. So uh, empty your 3,900 pounds. So again, you know, at, at 5,000 gross vehicle weight, um, you know, you can tow this with about anything. All right, so here's a look from the door. Okay, so this is nice. It's got your full-time banquette, which converts into a bed, right? Um, you still have that same sort of height restriction. If you're tall like me, you're gonna wanna sit on the outsides, not uh, the inside, all right? The bed is permanently here. There is storage underneath, which is separated from the storage outside. Okay, this bed looks uh, it's an interesting size. Um, 58 by 74. But you could get 58 by 80 in here if you wanted. Because there's, if you see Lisa, there's a gap there, mm -hmm. and then there's a bigger gap down by the feet. Could you get that yes. extra two inches in and get a, yeah. a residential queen in there? Uh, it, it'd be, I bet you could, because look, by 80 is a look, residential there's a couple queen. inches here too. Yeah, that's what I was looking so, at. So yeah, so you could put a residential queen in there, okay? Mm -hmm. Very cabinets nice. cabinets above, all right? Um, there is a curtain, so you can shut off from the rest of the area, okay? 
And, um, and so from looking from the bed, this is kind of what it looks like that way. Hi, Lisa. Hi. So there's your kitchen. Mm-hmm. Okay, which I didn't cover these, by the way. This is probably where you're putting your hanging clothes if you got some hanging clothes up in there. Or you could use it as a food pantry or split, right? Use the top for hanging stuff, right? And then this bottom you could use for, for food storage. If you needed to, but I'm looking over here and I'm thinking there's oh, yeah. probably... yeah, there's a bunch of cabinets at the door, too. There's probably plenty of space um, to have for your food. So we start with a refrigerator here. This is a GE 12 volt refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And nice. then we have our three burner stove. We have our uh, convection microwave. Nice, hang on, let me get up there. Right. There nice convection microwave. Very nice. Um, so we're gonna have a storage drawer here. I'm sure this is probably the access panel. Yep. Yep. Um, large single basin sink. Yeah. Okay. This does pull up, so you do nice. have some additional countertop space. Okay. That's where we put our drying rack, I would think, yeah. Yeah, probably so. When you're washing dishes and, and yeah. your 37 ingredients are going to have to fit on that little tray <laughs> for, your, for your large meals. So we do have some good storage there. Um, we've got storage drawers here. I believe that was an access panel. Yep. Yep. Water. That's an access panel there, and that's for, I guess, your cleaning stuff. We do have some storage there for your pots and pans. You have the water. I must have left it in the last RV. Okay. All right, why don't you go get that while I'm finishing this up? All right, you got it. All right, so there's some storage cabinets there. The TV is right here, which um, you, if you're sitting at the banquette, so here's the banquette, okay? If you're sitting at the banquette, um, from this side, you can see the TV. Um, it's really the only place they could put it. Um, not optimal, but uh, it, it's there, okay? Um, from the bathroom standpoint, and I just sent Lisa away, um, this is probably not good for the tall people, okay? Uh, you can see where my feet are, all right? Look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm not even remotely close to being inside. However, the door, the bottom of the door is cut. So my, my foot is outside the door, but still, I, I, I would just have to move my, my feet. I mean, this, it's a little snug. It's a little snug, okay? I fit, but it's snug. If you're joining our stream late, remember I am six foot four, all right? A tiny little corner shower. Again, when I get in there, my head is gonna be stuck inside the bubble. It is very, very tiny, okay? In fact, my, the top of my head is touching the bubble. Um, so if you're a tall person like me, this is gonna be a, a slightly uncomfortable shower experience. All right, so uh, we just want to uh, make sure that you guys know that from the tall man standpoint, okay? Oh, I think I left my glasses in there. I had to take them off because I couldn't get in the shower with them on my head. So um, right when you came in the door, there's your, your, uh, your panel for moving out the slide. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. If you're new to the stream, do us a favor. Let us know where you're from. All right. And so again... This was the 1808 FBS. And from a price standpoint here at the show, you're just a little under 30 grand, 29,595, okay? So let's, uh, like I said, I wanted to go cover some of the bigger ones, but uh, Lisa is uh, still uh, looking for our water, which she put down somewhere. And since we've been bouncing around a lot of RVs, who knows where she put it? <laughs> so let's go over to some of the longer um, travel trailers. All right. So this is the 2500 FL. We have not looked at this one yet. So you see from a price point, you're a little bit more, you're about 36 here at the show. Here's your floor plan. All right, this one's about 28 feet long, 6,744 pounds dry. Okay. When you come out here, there's no storage out here in the front. Okay. You do have an awning that covers most of the side. There's two doors, so it covers both doors, which is what's important with an awning, okay? Your storage isn't in the front, it's in the back. All right, so here's your storage. There you go. So Lisa has returned without the water, so I'm assuming she lost it. I lost it. Okay. I went into like four different RVs and couldn't find it. Okay. But I did find out those Flex 100s, some of them have Murphy beds, some of them have um, sectionals. Nice. Um, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. All right. So let's go in here. 
right when you come in, you've got some theater chairs, a couple little end, end tables with some pal. All right, these recline. As you're sitting in here, the TV is right over there. And so you have good viewing, especially if the puppy's with you. <laughs> oh, look, they knew we were coming. Look what's on the stove, Lisa. I saw that. There is a walk. We're always <laughs> talking about needing a walk and our 37 different ingredients for our uh, stir fry. <laughs> so over there is the banquette, and this is just like some of the others. For the tall people in the house, you're going to want to sit on the outside, mm -hmm. okay, because uh, um, that is going to be uh, quite challenging to move around as a tall person. Right. The kitchen's kind of neat. It's a little bit of an L, Lisa. Yeah, it is. Um, so we do have some countertop space here. Um, again, we have this that pops up to give you some extra countertop space. In the sink, we have a single basin sink with a tall faucet. Very nice. Um, we've got a three burner stove with a convection microwave. Um, nice. We do have our um, Dometic refrigerator. Yep, it's 12 volt. Uh -huh. And we storage, um, we've got the storage cabinet underneath here. This is, should be an power. access panel. Yeah. This is different. Um, haven't seen spice, that. Like a little spice area. Yeah, Actually, hang on. Um, there is a, a cabinet access here. Mm -hmm. and, and that little thing that you just opened, that accesses this area as well. When she opens it, maybe some, see a little light just came through? Okay. There so that you accesses go. this area, which is nice. And then we do have a lot of actually um, storage yeah, underneath it, the sink. all access to the same. Gotcha. Thing. And then okay. overhead storage as well. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, over above the TV, there's a couple cabinets above, a couple cabinets below. Um, there's some power here as well as a charging plate. Okay. And then we get into the bathroom. All right. And so from the tall man standpoint, this one's pretty good. Um, not too bad at all. You missed the last one. I couldn't fit on the last one. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a little tight. Uh -huh. okay? um, nice countertop space in here, which is great. Okay. Um, there's a little drawer here. There's some cabinets here for some storage up top. Nice storage, top yep. and bottom. Um, and you've got your little corner cabinet right here as well for keeping all your medicines and drugs and stuff. Okay. Um, your mirror is flat to the wall, but it's pretty tall, so got no problem. Right? Yeah. The shower is probably going to be like the rest of them. It's not bad, right? And the bubble is it, it's centered, but I, I can't get all the way to the back. I can I, I, I got to stop right there. And so there's much more room in the shower, but because of yeah, it just, it'd be nice if the bubble was just a little bigger, right? right? Um, the shower, by the way, if you can see where my head is, I'm way above it, so I just got to, you know, duck down, so it's not a big deal. And um, they do have the full retractable door, which is great. Mm -hmm. So, from a height standpoint, when I'm in the bubble, there's four fingers above. So, you could be six, seven max, okay? So, as we're walking into the bedroom, you've got sort of this area right here with a couple of cabinet right? This is sort of a wardrobe area. Um, I didn't notice a place to keep linens in the bathroom, so you probably have to put your towels here, right? I didn't miss anything, did I? No, well, I didn't. we've got the corner cabinet, well, yeah, but so that's you sort of for medicine. Yeah, but you know, you could put a couple you in there. You put a there. couple in there and then backups out here. Yeah. And then, again, this is uh, got some shelves here, so maybe a, a food pantry, right? If you need some space for more stuff, you got drawers here. Right. Right. I, I, you know, it, it's a great dual space. Yeah. Right, because there's not a ton of storage in the bedroom. There's a little bit, right? You got your your corner here, right? It's mirrored on the other side, all right. And you've got your sort of cubby up top. It doesn't have doors, but there's a cubby up top if you want to put stuff in. There is a drawer down here, so you can put some things in there, right? There's power and USB charging ports on both sides of the bed, so if you need electric, there's plenty of that, all right? There is a TV in here. It's sort of right next to me. So I'll just turn this around so you can see it. It's right there. Um, as you notice, this is a two-door, so there's direct access to the outside from the bedroom, which is really, really nice. So there you go. So there's another one, guys. All right. So that, again, model number 2500 FL, and it's selling here at the show for about 36. So Winnebago makes all kinds of things. And so um, let's see if we can get... Uh, uh, looking at some of their other products. There's Voyage over there. Yeah, let's um, go look at one of the Voyages. You want to look at a Voyage? Yeah, let's look at a Voyage. Because right. we haven't done that at all. No, we the haven't. Voyage sort of gets into their their longer 
right? Uh -huh. um, getting into their bigger travel trailers. So this one here is the 3538BR. You are 38 feet 11 inches, so let's just call that 39 feet. Dry, you're 9,676 pounds, okay? So this is a big one, all right? And so up front, when you start up here, you got a nice big storage area, right? You could stack a couple bins tall up in there, which is awesome, all right? From the awning standpoint, you got an awning that starts right here at the front, stops at the door, and then another awning that picks up at the slide and then continues on towards the back and then stops at the end of the slide. Um, and then there's an outdoor kitchen, which, of course, the door kind of acts like a roof when you're out here and it just fits the tall man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm brushing it, okay? Got a little micro fridge out here, okay? And then uh, a little griddle top, which I love the griddle top, little right. sink and uh, you know, a little countertop and some cabinetry up here. All right, nice outdoor kitchen, everybody. Okay, when you get to the back, all right, you see your ladder there, it's pre-wired uh, pre for camera. All right, let's see what the gross vehicle weight is, Lisa. Let's get all the way around here, okay? Two slides on this side, which is, again, this is a, this is a long one, Lisa. Sure is, that's a deep slide in the back. Yeah, the can't wait to get inside. Yeah. Here's your uh, connection for your sewer. Okay. All right, so. Here's Gross power. vehicle weight, 11,000 pounds, okay, and a 1,300 pound carrying capacity. We already knew what the dry weight is, but full uh, is 11,000 pounds. So when you're fully loaded, you're going to need a decent sized truck. Your spare tire, by the way, is up underneath the batteries. And I actually like that. You don't have to hunt for it. <laughs> no, I like it when it's on the back bumper. It's well, that's accessible. true. That's huh? true. That's, I mean, that's just me, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is nice, Lisa. Yeah. I love opposing slides in the living and kitchen area. Absolutely. It just gives it so much more space, much more open feeling, right? So you've got a love seat here. They both recline, but it's not the theater chair. It's more of a love seat, um, but they both recline independently, okay? Um, the TV is directly across from us, a great viewing position. There you go, with the fireplace underneath and all sorts of cabinetry around it, okay? To our left is, uh, you know, sort of your, I would call that the little office. I would as well. Uh, right, because on the other side, which we'll show in your minute, I would call that the coffee bar. I would agree. Um, and so, but there is power here. So, you know, if you want to have a monitor or a computer or whatever plugged in there, you could. As you see, there's cabinets for stuff. Or maybe like we were talking about before, you could put your printer out there, right? You know, mm -hmm. we carry a printer with us. You know, for work and stuff, so, right? So, yeah, pretty cool. And yeah. then right next to us is the bank cat. Mm -hmm. I know it's a little detail, but I love that light. I do, too. Above there. Yeah. It's very neat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, legless down there on the bottom, and it does convert into a bed storage underneath. So we're taking use of all the space. Mm -hmm. And then we get into the kitchen. Yeah. So we have uh, this nice island here that's um, offset the way you like it, Robert. We do have a single basin sink. Nice. Right. Um, underneath the island, we have a bank of oh, bank of um, drawers yeah, as well as silverware already loaded. Yeah, I think that's just staged, but that's okay. <laughs> um, un storage underneath the sink. Over here, we do have a high point convection microwave. Nice. You know, um, every single one of the Winnebagos we've been in have had the convection microwave. They have. No matter what the price point. They have. I love that. I do too. Um, we have a three burner stove. This one actually does have an oven. This is a Suburban. Yeah. Yeah, the others that we looked at did not have no, because not. they had the convection, so they didn't have the real. This one's got both. Nice. Um, storage on the side. Look at this. We've got a oh, full yeah, out trash plug. can. Yeah. I like that. I also, not though I do just like that, but we like the fact that they thought about it. Yeah. We haven't talked about this a lot in any of our streams, but guys, I just want you to think about this for a minute, right? So let's just imagine this is your kitchen, okay? And, and the garbage wasn't there. Where are you going to put it? Well, on this one, I mean, you could put it there. Mm -hmm. But imagine we're walking through some of the other models that we've been in. Where are you going to put the garbage can? Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, look, you live in it. It's going to create, you're going to create some garbage. Yes. I mean, you're with a bottle of water. Or, and, yeah. Yeah. And so you've got to have a place to put your, your, your garbage. Now, this, this is, is a Norcold. Yes. Look at that. Oh. All right. 
That one seems to not want to open. Okay. Just got to pull it, Lisa. Just got to pull it. <laughs> you are pull challenged. I am. Well, you know, I'm We always, don't want to break it. Exactly. Either. And I'm always thinking things are locked, so yeah. I don't want to mess with yeah. it. So, yeah. I'm not going to lie you. I don't know if that's 12 volt or propane, but I think it's 12 volt. Um, I believe, yeah, it's a 12 volt. Okay. Which is great, which works on an inverter. Over here, you have your pantry. We'll give it the knock test, but again, remember, this. Th these are real shallow. So even though the shelves are very, very thin, because there's a support, uh, oh, you can't see it because it's um, it's finished off here, but there's a support in there right there and a support in there right there. And so because it's so shallow, even if you're putting real heavy canned goods stacked up in there, it's not gonna bow on you. Love that. Okay? You have the cabinet up here, mm -hmm. like the glass doors in a little cubby here. Yeah. All right. And then we and do, then, yeah, yeah. Our, our place for a coffee. Yeah, that would be the coffee. <laughs> uh, and, by the way, I, I know you can't see power, but there is power. It's it's just, it's up there. It was the same on the other bar. It's just, it's up top, which is kind of neat because you're just not, you're not looking at the power. Exactly. So it's a nice, clean look. It is. And they've hidden it up in there. Yeah. All right, and some extra storage down there. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the back. This is a bunkhouse, everybody. And so... And that's where that deep slide is right here because this folds out to be a bed during the day it's a nice comfortable like love seat but at night this can fold out to be a bed okay up here this is also a bunk this is what it looks like in its up position but obviously it could come down okay mm -hmm. directly across from me is a tv so again if you're a family and you got your kids back here you can they can come back here watch their stuff you can close the door and they can have their own little play area. Let the grandkids back here and watch Blippi. <laughs> right, or whatever. <laughs> and then, of course, there's a bunk up top there. All right, so yeah, I, I like this area back here. Yeah, and plenty of storage back here as well. Back here as well. Yeah. And for those living back here, is, is there a hanging rod there? There is not. I suspect okay. there should be, um, yeah. but there there's, is there's not. not. Okay. Yeah. There's some doors and drawers down there. Just I fine. know a lot of these RVs um, barely made it here finished. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so let's go up to the front, check out what's up there. We haven't seen the bathroom yet, so I'm sure you know what time it is, right? Oh yeah, there it is, let's get on it. Actually, I don't know why I need to get on it. This one's got plenty of space. I mean, you can just visually see. Oh yeah. Uh, if you've joined the stream late and you didn't know, if it's the first time seeing us, uh, thank you, welcome to the stream. Subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan. But I am six foot four, thus the name of the channel, Tall Man's RV Reviews. And uh, we sit on toilets, we get in showers, we get on the beds because, well, there's a lot of RVs that I find hard to find a toilet that I got plenty of leg room. This, however, is not one of them. There is plenty of space here in shoulder room as well. It's very comfortable sitting here, right? So, oh, yeah, it's in shoulder room. Yeah, oh, plenty of shoulder room. Yeah. Above me, as you can see, is a cabinet for, for storing linens and things. Directly across from me is your uh, vanity. Nice extra countertop space, right? You've got your stainless bowl there right? very nice and beneath you got a little bit of storage as well and with a shelf so you can separate the storage stuff um there's not a medicine cabinet with the mirror but it's in the corner it's just a real cabinet okay because the uh the mirror is just you know flush to the wall and as you can see um you actually could dress in here like and like get a good look because it's it's a pretty tall mirror it is I mean, i can see all the way down to my knees wow right? okay all right shower let's get in there all right and there is no challenges here at all whatsoever, whether I'm all the way in the back or I'm all the way in the front, okay? This is definitely a two thumbs up shower, guys. So if you're a tall like me, this might be a good model for you. It's a Voyager. It's made by Winnebago. Um, we've been looking at the minis and the mini winnies and the, the flexes, but this is a Voyager, okay? And so this is a long, heavy one, okay? All right, I like that. So let's go up into the master. One thing I don't like, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about the glass doors. I just rather have the retractable ones. Oh yeah, this is a king size bed. Tex. No, it's too long. Tex needs 30 feet. This is 38. Oh. We're thinking about you, Tex. We haven't forgotten. Yeah, this is 72. 72, so it's not full width. 72 by 80. But you know what? Look, you've got a little bit of space. Over here, you, it would be tight. It, it'd be tight, but you could probably force a, a regular king mattress in here. I think you could okay. get a residential king so, in here. Let's get on the, again, it's, there's plenty of space. Yep. Um, I'm not sure Lisa can see from there, but, but right to my left and right, up top are some cubbies. 
And so for those who need CPAPs and stuff, there's a great place to stash them. Is there power back there? I, I, actually, I don't know. I don't... No, there's actually no power. Hmm. The power's down here. Oh, yeah, I see it on my side. Yeah, but it'd be kind of weird the power. to get power from there all the way up. Right. Maybe they should have thought and, and drilled a couple <laughs> of holes in here. Yeah. So you could feed the, the power cord up. Like, I would put it close to the wall mm -hmm. so I could pull the power cord, let it here, and then go up there so it wouldn't be in the way. Right. <sighs> That's just me. <clears throat> right across from where I'm laying is, is the TV. So if you want to watch TV while you're in bed, you can see what the view would be like. Sorry, everybody. All right. Is this a potential washer? It is. This is a potential washer dryer. Look at that. Nice. And I don't know if that comes out. I wonder if you could get a full stackable in there or do you have to do a combo? I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that for you. And when they're closed, as you can see, there's mirrors. Very nice. Okay. Above the bed. Or it's left and right, you got uh, matching cabinets. So there's a bar in there, so you can put your hanging stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, and then there's the big, sort of cubby area up top. I would like to see the doors at this price point. I'd like to see the doors in here. Yeah, I would so agree. the clothes don't fall out when you're rolling down the road. So there we go. So that is a Voyager. It's the first Voyager we've seen. Maybe we'll look at one more for you guys. One that's not so big. This one is the 3538 BR. Mm -hmm. So let's look at. Uh, He's looking at something 30 feet. So let's 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 find a 30 footer. This is 31.8. Yeah, all the voyages I think are going to be a little long. This one's 34.3. Actually, this one up here looks about right. Okay, I think we found one for you. This one's 36, but this one right here, this is a Voyager. This one is, where is it? It's right here in the back. 2711. Oh, there you go. But it only has a queen bed. Oh no. Well, let's see if we can, let's see if we can find it, if a king will fit. <laughs> Price point wise, here you go. 44, 6, 42 here at the show. All right, um, quickly on the outside, gigantic storage area, which is awesome. Oh wow, Okay. huge storage. Uh, yep, huge storage. Um, awning that covers the entire side, the absolute entire side, okay? You've got regular RV stairs here in the back, but you got your step above steps here, okay? Electric jacks, all of that stuff is the same on all of them. So let's go inside and take a look. All right, so, um, as you see what's missing from this sort of shot, there's no banquette, no dining table in here at all. But at least if you get a little bit closer and you look at this, you see this little bracket? There is a table for, you know, for dining room, if you will, that slides on and off. And so um, it's nice and comfortable, you know, it's a nice table. Mm -hmm. What I think it's really made for is when you're traveling, when the slide comes in, you take it off, but when you get where you're going, you would put that on there and it would just be up, I would think. Okay? I would agree. But this is your living room. This does convert down to be a bed, which is nice so when you take the table off, it can be a bed. Very All right? nice. As you see, some end stands or end tables, if you will, with some power. Directly across is the TV. And so uh, there's uh, great viewing uh, angles. From you We're just sitting flat at it, which is awesome. Nice uh, fireplace for Lisa's freakishly tiny, cold feet. Right. And there's some cabinetry around there and some nooks and things. Yeah. Yeah. Which Very is cool. nice. And then uh, over to the left is the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Kind of a little L there in the corner. This one kind of reminds me a lot of ours, except our refrigerator would be here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you've got the corner kitchen. You've got the large single basin sink with a tall faucet. There's storage underneath. We have um, four drawers. Yep. I believe that is access at the bottom. No, it is no, not. The, that your is... panel's right there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's not hidden. If I would have looked a little bit further. Yeah, um, yeah so we have the Suburban um, three burner, three burner yeah. stove with oven. the oven. This one does have a the convection, convection microwave, microwave. Yeah, right? And we have storage. It goes all the way into the corner, yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. All right, 
And then uh, a little cabinet above, too. Yep. And then look at this nice big nice refrigerator. Side by the side. Nice, yeah, the That's nice awesome. one cold. Yes. So I do have a little bit of a refrigerator envy. <laughs> right. Oh, I would love a side by side. Yes. And then up here in the front, um, here is the bedroom. I'm going to give this to Lisa. I know it said queen, but I swear to God, that looks bigger than a queen, Lisa. That. Well, it could be too because the um, comforters, uh, I, just, or the, here, let's looks, find out. Yeah, that's wider. Is that's, it? That's 72. 72. Or and, is there four inches over there? I, I'm telling you, you could squeeze a king in here. Okay. You can squeeze a king. Hang on. Let's go this way. And you're 80. You could put a king in this one, my friend. So if you're watching this, Tex, this might be yours. Okay. We'll go back out and get the model number again so we don't forget, okay? Um, up above, as Lisa was showing you, you've got cabinets left and right, right? There's hanging bars in there, mm -hmm. right? So you can hang your clothes. You, you have two shelves up here. Put some small stuff up there and uh, some bigger stuff down there. Can I really like to see the doors. Um, you got a TV mounted. That's right where we have our TV mounted in the bedroom, Lisa. Yep. Um, there is storage underneath the bed, too. We, we haven't been looking at that for any of you, and we apologize. Oh, and there's the table. And the, yep, there's your table, and there's that bracket. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the power, again, is down below. So if you have a CPAP machine, your cord is going to have to go, go up on. to the okay. nightstand. Yeah, because it, it's got those little back cubbies. The little back cubby over there. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then up here in the front is actually where the bathroom is, or the back, Yeah. Right? And so from the tall man's standpoint, because of the way it's designed, there's plenty of space. I mean, it's very, very comfortable. So this is definitely a two thumbs up. I mean, I, I, your foot could be all the way here. Look at, I mean, there's access underneath the door. Okay, and here. I'll not just, that you need it. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it, I'm not gonna do that, it's locked. Yeah. It's locked, okay, um, plastic foot flush, okay? Over to the right, cabinets for linens. Okay, you got some drawers. Drawers for right. your shampoo bottles and yeah, stuff and if you want. There's also storage underneath. Oh, very nice. You got your stainless basin. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 since it's a deeper uh, countertop, there you got you know some extra space for the stuff, for the lotion and the potions. Right. And then the tall man. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah. From the shower, same thing. This is going to be a pretty good shower, guys. Right. I would replace these doors instantly. <laughs> I'll show them the doors so they know what yeah. you're talking about. Uh, I mean, if anybody's... Been, <laughs> yeah, we've been in some RVs that have that retractable door. It just makes it much easier to get in and out. You don't have to worry about hitting your head. I just, I, I just like the retractable doors. I don't know. It's a thing or fetish or I don't know what it is. <laughs> so again, this is a one-piece or three-sided shower um, uh, insert, so there's nowhere to leak. Okay? Very cool. And plenty of height. I mean, jeez, uh, guys, I can put... That's, you know, I don't know, more than a foot of space above my head inside that. And look, the, it's going this way in the shower. So you have full use of the entire shower, even if you're taller than I am. So this is a great floor plan, Lisa. Yeah, not bad. I really like it. Again, for those... Oh, look what we missed. What did we miss? Oh, there's a, a little walk-in closet right here. Huh, I wouldn't call that little. Holy crap, that's, that's a big one. Yeah, very nice. You going to give it the test? Uh, we can give it the test. <laughs> it's finished. Okay. So I can't tell, but I, it, it, it's paper thin. Um, but it's finished. But I, I don't think there's a support in there because it is flexing. And so you would want to be careful with these ones about loading up with, with things that are very, very heavy because um, you may get a dip in there. All right? And as you can see, there's some octopus hangers, too, for your jackets and things. You, you store your mops or brooms and things in there. Yeah. That's yeah, a nice closet. Yeah, yeah, this, I like this floor plan. Again, this is the 2427 RB. And Tex, you can get that King mattress in there. Okay, absolutely amazing. Did we look at the price point on that? Um, yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, but I'll do it again. All right. Right, you're, you're 44, 642 here at the show. Hey, everybody, welcome to the stream. We have been covering Winnebago all morning. Um, we started off with the mini winnies and we looked at the flexes and we looked at the regulars. All right. Uh, hate being random with you, uh, with your help. We went with the Springdale, uh, 281 RK that you showed the other day. It was a huge rear kitchen. Uh, you can hold a disco in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations on deciding on that, uh, Springdale, man. Yeah. You, you now guys have an official place to live. <laughs> yes, 281 RK, excellent. 
<laughs> All right. Thanks for letting us know that, guys. Yes, we, really do. we sure appreciate that. So um, let's just step right out here into the walkway because Winnebago goes like all the way down here. So let's go down here and catch some of the drivables. Um, Lisa, if you don't mind, can mm -hmm. you go grab, grab a water? water? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to be down here. Um, we've been at this for about an hour. We're going to stay on for about another hour with you here this morning. Um, I know we stashed our streams, backpacks we, in we, one uh, of these. On I just want to grab. We do a couple I, hours it? in the morning and then a couple hours in the afternoon. Um, we created a playlist on our channel. So again, if you're new to the streams and you want to see the rest of the RVs we covered, because we've covered Grand Design, we've covered uh, Keystone, we've covered Rockwoods, um, she's uh, covered a bunch of the uh, Class A's, the American Dreams, um, some of the New Mars. Um, obviously this morning we're, we're looking at, uh, at Winnebago. Um, we, we've seen a lot. So if you've missed anything and you want to see more, uh, you can go back and, and look at those playlists. So Winnebago is also known for their Class B's. Now we have not looked at any of their Class B's yet. So let's go ahead and look at it. We actually were here um, a few days ago. There was a press conference because they've launched their ERV2, which is a fully electric Class B van. Okay. But let's look at this one. This is the Revel 44E. Okay. Uh, not on the inexpensive side. Okay. So you're looking at 160. This is a full conversion van. Okay. It is built on a Mercedes chassis. Okay. So uh, you've got a nice awning. I'm pretty sure there's solar on top. Um, let me see if I can sneak up top while no one's looking, because we're not supposed to go up top. So hang on a second, Lisa, hold this for just a second. Oh. Yes, there's solar up top. <laughs> And since she just got back, I'm going to have her hold that while I rehydrate a little bit. And I apologize. I think I don't know what the range is on these microphones, but I forgot to mute mine. So I was talking to the people who were um, holding their backpacks. <laughs> so if there is any. Uh, yeah, extraneous noise in there. We apologize. Yes, that would be my fault. All right. So let's go ahead and, and, and by the way, here's your your drain poles, if you will, for your tank stuff. OK, this looks to be like an outdoor table, which is nice. Here's your refrigerator. In fact, I'm going to give this to Lisa because it's very tight in there, so she's not going to be able to come in with me and us be able to have camera views for you. <coughs> so why don't you come and sit there? She's going to sit in the passenger seat. Okay? Now, I'm in the back. Now, during the day, you can put... This is your bed. So it's, it's on a, a track, and so at night it can come down, but during the day it's up, okay? And I'm assuming, oh, no, there's your batteries and stuff. I was wondering if there was chairs that you could sit here and make like a little dinette, but there's sort of a little dinette here, okay? Which this table spins a little bit, which is nice. And so I'm assuming that's your dining table, okay? But what I do like is that that bed goes up so you can store stuff there in the back. I like that too. Okay, here is your, your head, right? Your little bathroom. It is a wet bath. So just like that other one that I was in. Now I can tell you right now, I am not gonna fit in there, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm touching the roof now when I stand up straight. And this is raised. And that is raised. So this is one that you're gonna have to sit on the toilet to take a shower if you're my height. But if you're, if you're gonna be a class B uh, person at my height, that is gonna be what you're gonna be doing anyway in any class B. Um, none of the ones that have bathrooms um, are going to be able to to fit the tall people in the world. Um, there is a little kitchen, as you can see right here, mm -hmm. right, a little sink. You have a stainless sink with a tall faucet. There is some storage overhead. Right. Um, they nice, put a little like basket a, here, so that's nice for holding um, things. There's a nice tall pantry things. right there too, Lisa. It, it, right here? Oh, right yes, there. right yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we open that up and yes. Yeah, so you try to again it's tight in here and, and, and trying to get you some good views with the with the uh, with, in fact I'll tell you what let's switch I'll go to the front and you can go to the back okay let we'll me come rotate. up here we have some good friends that are full-time van lifers and so um, but they they did their conversion themselves they bought a shell they did and then completely converted it themselves 
Okay, so you were talking about the cabinets and stuff. Yeah, so we um, looked up here, so we've got some nice storage space up here. Nice. Okay. Um, I was talking about the baskets. Oh, there so you that's go, nice. yeah, yeah. You know, you can put nice things in there. Um, this is... Oh, there's your, your cooktop. cooktop. It's an induction. It that is. is great. Yes, I love that they hid that away, um, so you still have your counter space. Uh, let's see what this is. We have a little drawer. Um, we have another little drawer, and down below we have a bigger drawer. <laughs> now there's some storage up here too that's underneath the floorboard. All right, if you want to see what it looks like in the front, again it's a Mercedes chassis that this is on. It's very comfortable driving. Um, there's also a nice big storage above, sort of that other seat uh, or your you know dining room. There's the refrigerator we were talking about. So right. So look, if if you're I'm going to be getting into van life living. Um, you know, this you're, you're not stocking up for, for a week at a time, really, in, in a lot of cases. You mm -hmm. know, you're going to shop, you know, a couple, two, three, three times a week. Mm -hmm. right? It's a whole different thing. And I, I love that you can zip this whole yep. thing, have the whole door open. Yep. Get that cross ventilation. There is AC on the roof, too, by the way. I didn't mention that. Oh, so. nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it back there yeah. over the bed. Very so nice. Let's, let's go look at this one. This is a different looking one because it's got the pop up on the top. Oh, yeah. This is the Solus, right? Now this is built on a Ram chassis, okay? And we'll just do a sort of a 360 here so you can see it from the outside, right? Here is, it's a brand new exterior this year, all right? So you can see the top, all right? So here's the back. It's kind of neat to see it like this. So your bed on this one folds up. So there's your bed. So during the day it's up, which gives you access to all of this down here. And so there's some additional storage there. Oh, I'm not sure I can't reach that even to lift it. Oh, well. <laughs> you make just everything tug. so easy. All just right. <laughs> there's a little cubby there. Here's a shower too, right? So here you can use it as an outdoor shower. You just plug the nozzle in here so you could actually shower out here if you wanted to. Yeah. There's racks here so you can tie stuff down in the back. Um, there's, there's cubbies on this side, sorry. Gimbal's not working with me. Cubbies on this side and uh, cabinets and drawers on that side. As you can see, there's a table. And so um, if you want to use that as a dining table, you just fold that down right there and that is a dining table. And this would be sort of the seating area right here. Yeah. Okay? And there's all kinds of little uh, yep, cubbies. Yep, I already talked about that, right? Yeah. Yep. So absolutely. I'm going to come around to the, the side door there so we can show off the kitchen in this one. Okay. And let's not forget, this is, oh, by the way, there's also a shower hook up here. So you could do a shower here. There's also that same sort of screen door mesh. But before I forget and we go too far, remember, this has got this whole upper area, right? So if you want to, actually, Lisa, here, hold this for me for just a second. Sure. I'm going to climb up there, or at least a little bit. Because uh, I can't get all the way up there, but I can get pretty far. All right, so look. Let's say it's beautiful out here and you want to have good views. Right, you see the side zipper off, but look through the front, which is nice. There's an air vent up here as well. And so with that open, you can let out all the hot air. Uh, if it was me up there talking, it would be a lot of hot air. <laughs> all right. This one actually has a two burner gas. Two burner, nice. Yeah. Um, this pulls out, that's your cutting board or, ex yeah, that is cat yeah. cutting board. I wouldn't yep. use that as extra space. Well, maybe. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Um, this that just locks, locks that in place. in place, I guess, yeah. All right, so we have some little cubbies here. Oh, yeah, nice right, space nice, there. Nice storage there. Yeah, absolutely. Underneath the sink. Yeah. Remember, there's solar on board, so you have power. Yeah, and I don't remember if I was in there or not. Cabinets above, yeah. And there was cabinets above there in the back as well, and I, I didn't get to show them because I was sort of hovering there, but there's cabinets back there. Mm -hmm. Right, this is the Solus. Mm -hmm. All right. And cabinetry underneath here. I'll come back there and show you that one. Yeah. And nice deep storage. Mm -hmm. Right. This has the wet bath like the other one. Um, uh, it locks up there. Uh, here, hold that, Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, oh, there we go. Okay, so here's here's a wet bath. What's nice is there's a little t uh, a rack in there for you to dry clothes or hang clothes if you wanted to. Um, there's your toilet. As you can see, it does spin, okay? Um, you know what? Let me try sitting on the toilet at the very least, okay? There we go. Uh, you know what, Lisa? 
I'm in an augmented position, but if I was going to be a Class B person to actually have a toilet... I would agree. I love it. And a shower. And a shower, because I fit, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, here's a little cubby for soaps. Or actually, that's where you would put your toilet paper. I would think It's in so, a sealed yeah. compartment, so it would be dry. Mm -hmm. And look, I would just take a shower sitting down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. So I, I'm shocked. I actually fit sitting down. Mm -hmm. Standing, I, I can't stand. We already talked about that. But I could sit, mm -hmm. and it's not uncomfortable okay um i can't imagine you would have more than two people in here but there are seat belts on these seats so you technically could have four people in here driving legally you all could. seat belted in okay hey everybody welcome to the stream we've been covering winnebago this morning we're still with winnebago but we're now looking at their class b's we looked at their minis their micro minis their flexes their voyages this morning so if you missed that and you want to go back just scroll back to the beginning of the stream and you can get all of that uh, if you're new to the stream, do us a favor. Drop us a comment. Let us know where you're from. We like to see you guys in chat. That's why we do these live streams. Because we're also being live at the show. There's manufacturer reps everywhere. And so we have a knack of going to bug them. Right? When you guys want to see something or know something, we just go find them. And we ask them the questions. All right? So let's go look at some class B's. I'm uh, sorry, Class C's. All right, so we've already looked at some of the vans. Let's look at a Class C. We haven't seen any Class C's yet. So this is also a Winnebago. This is built on a Mercedes chassis, okay? And here's the side. This is the Vita, all right? So this is kind of what a Class C is. Um, this would be a, uh, a gas, um, and it drives itself. As you see, there's your price point. You have a little bit of storage underneath, very little, okay? As we walk all the way around, as you see there's ladder to get up to the top. We've got a little few slides here. There's a big storage compartment back here. Your power cord tucks in over there, okay? Well, let's go inside so you guys can see what a Class C looks like. We haven't been in any of them yet, so this will be a nice look for you guys. Of course, there's a bunch of people already in there, so it might be a little bit tight. But we'll do our best. Oh, by the way, that little clip, that's, that goes up, so you have storage underneath there. Okay. So here's your cockpit. So this is where you drive, and your passenger, obviously. There is a bunk above the driver's area. And the ladder for the bunk is so right you here. you sleep there. The ladder would connect right here. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's where it stores while you're driving, so it's out of the way, okay, which is neat. There's a TV right here, which is on a swivel. So if you're up in the bunk, you can watch the TV. Over here, you got a bag cat. Which also converts into sleep. And uh, you see there's also some cabinets in the Behind Jim over there is your kitchen area. He's kind of standing right in front of the sink, which is a big basin sink. Okay. It looks like a 50-50. I can see the stainless. Yeah. between you guys. Sorry about that. All right. And then... Over there, you've got your three bar stove. You've got your gray stone microwave down beneath there, and I believe that is also convection. There is cabinetry all the way around, which is nice. Adjustable shelves, okay? And I believe, by the way, and obviously they're not there, there, but see the handle underneath that TV? That cabinet, I'm sure, opens as well, so you can store stuff behind there, which is great. I would agree, okay? yes. Um, right over to the next, Lisa, there's your refrigerator. And I believe that this one might be propane, Lisa. Why not? Oh, move. <laughs> Lisa and her doors. I think it's Actually, on the other side. It's on, it, it is. That's the hang side. Yes. Okay, so here's the bathroom. We're just trying to be quiet because they are here doing business. Okay, so there's your toilet. Little corner sink. Right? Nice corner vanity. And then you got a shower. So I'm going to give this to Lisa so I can crawl in. Just enough space for the tall people in the world. Okay, and if you're just joining our stream, I know we have a lot of people that just got on. I'm six foot four, use my height as reference. Okay, um, the shower, there's going to be plenty of room in the shower. Even if I wasn't in the bubble, there's plenty of height for the tall people in the shower. This is the door, by the way, that I talk about. Love this door. Okay, it just it keeps the opening. I just I love the door. Okay, 
So there's a Class C. Let's see if we can look at some others. Not the more streamlined. All right. So we're going to go down a little further and look at one of their more traditional ones. Um, this is a very popular name here. You see it's called the Mini Winnie. Okay. They've made the Mini Winnie for a long time. And you can see this is a bit of a longer one. All right. This one is built on a Ford E450 Super Duty chassis. All right. Again, you can get a nice look at the length of this one. In fact, let's see here if it's listed. Yep, exterior length, 32 feet, nine inches. There's your floor plan. And this one runs here at the show for 42. All right, so let's go in. You have two ways to get in. You can go in through the door, front passenger door if you wanted to, I guess. But you also have this entrance here, okay? Wow, Lisa, I like this one. Oh, me too. Wow. Yeah, All this All right, is so nice. look at this. So I'm going to come in, there's this, look, look, look at how big that is. Right? That is a nice banquette. You could see several people there. Yeah, easily. Without a doubt. Easily. And that converts down to be a bed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, there's cabinetry up above. Okay. Nice oh, cabinetry. that's huge space up there. Yep. Your TV, by the way, for this space is up where in the bunk area. Mm -hmm. So if you're what, where I'm sitting, this is the bench, you can see the TV there. It's a little off at an angle, but I believe that does swivel. So you can uh, watch it from the bench or watch it when you're in the bed because this again converts into be a bed. And you see where the ladder would connect right here at night. But uh, yeah, nice place for the TV. Um, this does convert down as well to be a bed. Mm -hmm. And as you see from the seat belts, you can sit there while you're driving down the road. Nice cabinetry above. Okay. And then, it, it, nice kitchen, really. Yeah, so it this, really is. Yeah. Yeah, this is solid surface. Yep. You have a stainless 50 50 sink, um, tall faucet, plenty of countertop space, actually. Yeah, right. We've got some storage above head. Love it. And we've got storage below the sink. Nice. Plus, we have a little drawer, little drawer. here. Drawer. Yeah. Now over here we've got our high point microwave. This is oh, it's just like ours. It is not convection. Correct. We do have a three burner stove and we have an oven. Plus, here's more storage underneath. Excellent. Yeah. And then to your left, that here's... is a propane and a gas. So this is not 12 volt. So this is a propane refrigerator, and this is just like our refrigerator. It is Norgold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And oh, then... look at this. Oh, there's some drawers right here too. Yeah. Nice. These people are looking like they want to come out, so we'll let go them go by. Go right. No, come on through. All right, we'll, we'll go through. Oh. They're looking at all the electronics. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. Excuse so we'll me. go all the way to the back. So here's your bedroom, right? So I'm going to give this to Lisa. I'm going to measure out this bed for you guys. It looks to be, I don't know, I'm not going to judge. 60, so queen width by 74. So, so that is an, an RV, RV queen. queen. 60 mm -hmm. by 74. Yeah. yeah, you couldn't get 80 in here because of... Uh, no, the slide. The slide, yep. The and only way to do that would be if this was articulating, so yep. it would slide up, but it does not. So obviously you can see cabinetry above. Mm -hmm. And I know you've seen us look at an art of, uh, a lot of RVs, but in, in, the, in the travel trailers, we and I kept on talking about the doors. These are the doors I'm talking about. So if you're storing clothes up there, t-shirts or shorts or whatever, they don't fall out when you're going down the road, mm -hmm. okay? Some of the ones we were looking at had just the cubbies, no doors. Almost all of them this morning. Yes. They were all cubbies. Yes. Yeah. So uh, power left and right on uh, your nightstands. Okay. So you've got everything you need there. There's uh, some drawers as well. There's a little nightstands, so you're making use of that space. And they're pretty deep. Very okay. nice. And there's some on each side. Yep. I'm sure there's storage underneath here, right? I mean, it's not uh, a bit. It's, it's access. Nope. It's yeah, access. motor access. Because there's stuff down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right across from us is your wardrobe. Right, nice hanging space. It's finished off, which is nice. Nice couple drawers down here. Right. Three drawers there on the dresser, and then you got a TV up there as well. Nice little TV. Plus a little shelf space there. Yep. And again, this goes up, so you can oh, store stuff in there would too. Oh, look at that! Right? Look at that extra space. Yep. Love it. Might as well use it, right? Right. And then look at that. There's bunks in this sucker. Oh yeah. my goodness. So the whole family. The whole family. You can't. No one's left out. Tons no, of sleeping It's actually space two bunks. This one's just up. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, a, a 
put that down so you can see if I can stop pressing on it. And so there's your curtain for your bottom person, right? And then the mattress just comes down. Okay? Very nice. If you're not for... using it as bunks, this is a hanging bar. When, again, if this here, let me put it back up. If this was up, right. and you want to hang more clothes, it's a hanging rack. If you want to use it as a closet, not bunks. Very nice. Right? Mm -hmm. And then there's this. So you know what time it is, right? Got to get on that toilet. Tell man, toilet test. All right. No problems here, guys. We're in this mini winnie and got plenty of space. Okay. And um, what's nice is, and we've talked about it a couple times, but you see how the countertop is cut out here? That actually gives for, for, for taller people or bigger people like me room for your, because if, if that wasn't cut out, I'd be rubbing against it. So it's cut out just enough to give you space, which is very, very comfortable. Very okay? nice. Um, so as you can see, nice countertop for the sink and the counter mount sink. It is plastic. It is not uh, stainless. Okay. Um, there you go. Some storage down there. Uh, extra countertop space with a drawer underneath. There is a cubby down there as well. Very nice. And you can see there's cabinetry up above me. That would sort of probably be partially your medicine chest. I okay. would agree. Since the mirror is flat, mm -hmm. uh, from a tall man standpoint, I can actually see my entire self, so we're good to go with that. I'm a little concerned about that shower. Um, I'm, I, I just, I just fit. I can get the, the width of my hand flat between me and, and the bubble. Okay. So it just fits me at six foot four. So um, yeah, couldn't be any taller than that. Okay. All right. I think the only thing we didn't see, um, or at least look at, is there's a cabinet here. And so there's storage for things right here. Um, they were looking at that when we came in. Oh, right, yeah. Everybody. There we go. So there's a little cabinet here. And again, here's your plugs, your plugs. Throw your command center for moving in slides and stuff. Okay. So how many people will this thing think, sleep? A ton. A ton. Two so, back here. Uh, so yeah, two up front. Four. Um, Technically, I guess two there, so there's four, two there, six, and plus two there, four eight, more. Yeah. two there, ten. Yeah, ten. Ten, ten people. people. It's a band bus. It is a band bus. <laughs> With the roadies. I love it. <laughs> For all you aspiring musicians out there, you, you don't have to do it in a van. Here you go. Again, we are 42, or uh, uh, 142, 315 here at the show. Okay? So let's go look at uh, another, another one. We're still in Win Winnebago. Let's look at one of their class A's, okay? If you were with us yesterday, <coughs> we were looking at like the top of the line class A's. I mean, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars, okay? But these Winnebago's, these are also considered class A's, but they're, they're built um, not on typically commercial chassis. They're not diesel, they're gas. So um, the other ones we were uh, looking at, a lot of them call them class A's, they call them those diesel pushers. These are not diesel pushers, okay? Um, which also means it's gonna be more of a price point, right? So like this one here, you're looking at 169. So it's a fraction of the cost of some of the ones that we were looking at yesterday, right? So you got a nice storage cabinet, that's what that is. It's really tall, guys. Yeah, golf clubs can yeah, go in there. Yeah, put your golf clubs in there, Yeah. okay? And again, there's some storage here, an outdoor TV, which is nice. And storage nice. underneath. Yep, and storage underneath. There's storage all the way around. Okay, so let's go in and look at the inside. There is an awning that covers about two thirds of the entire side. So let's go up to the very front. So we're gonna talk about this is built on a Ford chassis. Okay, it's gonna be gas. But right up here in the front, there's a bed. It's on a little elevator kind of thing. And so it'll go right down to basically the top of the, the, the driver's chairs there. So you can sleep some people up there in the front, okay? Um, right here, as you came in, remember there's the door. Right to your right is some theater chairs, All right? Comfortable, All right? This goes up, goes down, you put your cups in there. Um, is that a charging port? What is that? Oh yeah, it's charging ports there, USB plugs, charger. Oh, very nice. Yep, it does yeah. recline. There, and it reclined out. And it'd be perfect thing to sit there and watch that TV. Maybe we should have what's in front of the TV first. <laughs> Maybe. And you got a bottle and two glasses. Oh, I They're don't waiting know. for us. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, great, great spot. It's 
very comfortable, guys. Yeah. Um, there's your banquette. You see it's, uh, I call it legless. So there's no, nothing in the way as you're sliding in and out. Um, because the slide is all the way back, even as, as a tall person, you could sit on in the inside. Okay. Oh, and look at these curtains. Yeah, nice. The little shades. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's that's actually just for decoration. Yeah, it's just decoration because that's your shade right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Very All nice. Right. Yeah. So let's. Uh, there's also a little. See that little hole right there? You can put a little uh, table there, because uh, when you're parked, these chairs spin around, and so they become sort of part of the living area then. And so you could actually put like a little cocktail type table there. That's what that little that little hole is. Okay. There is some cabinetry there right when you come in. Mm -hmm. My guess is that's where some, oh no, it's storage. Yep, you can put your coats there. That's where electronics are. Yep. Um, your slide electronics are actually down there. That's what those buttons are. Okay. And then uh, got a nice little corner cabinet here. That's a nice, nice space and there. Deep. Look at that. Adjustable shelves. Those are kind of thin. Um, I think it's that more. That one's good. Actually, that's not bad, I Lisa. think it's more because it was bouncing is yeah. what I was thinking no, it was that's, getting flexibility, but it wasn't. It's that's just pretty solid. Yeah, that's it's one of the bad. most solid ones we've uh, knocked on so far, believe it or not. Yeah, not bad. Okay. And a nice kitchen, right? Solid surface countertop, yeah, too. Yeah, this is nice. Um, we've got the 50-50 um, the sink. Yeah. Um, I'm not even sure where to begin. Let's see. Let's <laughs> look at the, the storage above. You can tell we're getting close to two hours stream time because yes, we start getting tongue-tied. we definitely do. I like <coughs> having that pull-out drawer. Um, yeah, lots of storage overhead. We've got a nice graystone microwave. Let's see. Not it is convection. not convection. Yeah. We have a three burner gas stove and an oven. Um, under the sink, we have plastic. Yeah, lots <laughs> of plastic. Um, decent storage there. Oh, look nice, at those deep, big, big drawers. drawers. There. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. And then underneath the stove, there yeah. is some storage. Um, we have our refrigerator freezer. Again, propane. Mm -hmm. That is a Norcold. Uh, actually, uh, I think this one's 12 volt. Yeah, this I think it volt. is. I don't, My yeah. Yep, I, solar on board, 12 volt. I believe so, yeah. Speaking of which, control panel right here. Oh, all very electronic. nice. So let's, uh, let's keep on going towards the back. All righty. Oh, 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 yeah. It's that toilet test time again. Tell them. Oh! You know what? Oh, look at this. Look at this. You ready? Look, look. Come here. It's got a bum gun. A bum gun. Look a at bum that. A bum gun. Oh my goodness. Yes, this is our first bum gun this year. <laughs> bum gun. <laughs> Woohoo! But look at all that leg room you've got. Nothing like a clean tushy. Yeah. Okay. So interestingly enough, if I sit how the toilet is angled, um, I should be here. Uh, if you see my feet, it, it's it's a little uncomfortable. Obviously, I can turn. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's completely comfortable. This toilet's not meant to turn, so to be honest, it would feel weird on the bum side, right? Because the you know your seats are contoured, right? The the toilet seats. Yeah. And so if you're not sort of sitting straight, it feels a little weird. This might be a little challenging if you're my height. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, you've got room when you're this way. It's gonna feel weird on the tushy. Okay. This is how you should be sitting. I'm so, gonna move the camera so you can show them again. Do that yeah, again. So this is how you should be sitting. The way the toilet is angled. But obviously, this is where you have the most room. Um, I don't know why they just didn't angle the toilet this way. Yeah, I'm I mean, surprised. it's not like it's taking up much room. Yeah, they should do that. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just uh, Winnebago. If you're listening, turn the toilet. <laughs> I want a comfortable tushy. Heck, you got a bum gun for God's sakes! <laughs> All right, nice countertop space in here, though, right? I, I love the sink. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. It's it's almost like a it's not a fabric you feel, but feel that, Lisa. It almost feels like a fabric, doesn't it? Just, oh yeah. Yeah, it's really kind of neat. Yeah. Okay. Um, you got some storage underneath here, right? Which is awesome. Yeah. There's a little cubby down here. Your uh, TP holders are already put in place, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, the the mirror's flat against the wall, so there's no um, uh, storage uh, for for your medicines and stuff. But there is like a little medicine cabinet here. But remember, guys, this is just a half bath. Mm -hmm. I've been picking on the toilet, but it's a half bath, so there's got to be another toilet somewhere else. So, <laughs> and yeah. that is a great half bath for it. It is a great half seat. bath. I, so. You know, yeah. I pick on it, but I mean, I you know need, need to pick on it too much. Honestly, I don't remember ever seeing a half bath in a class seat. All right, seat. so let's turn the lights on here. All right, so so a nice bed. This does oh. look like uh, an RV king, actually. It does, yeah. So let's get some some width on it here. Yeah, we are 72 by. Uh, it's going to be hard to get up there, so I'm going to have to. Yeah, 
RV King, 72 by 80. Well, you know what? There is actually, I believe, plenty of space. You can put a king in here. If you wanted to put a, a uh, residential I, king in but, here. But mind you, this has to fold up, I think, when you're on the road, because just think about it. This slide here comes in, that and that slide comes, comes in. in. So this would be just something you want to ask the dealers when you meet with them, is to make sure if you put a residential king, because that, that you're just, I just want to make sure you have enough space. You don't want to go and do it and then try to put your slides in and it doesn't fit. But we're pretty sure you're going to have the width and the length. Yeah, with the okay? hybrid because it has the flexibility. Because <laughs> remember, I, I couldn't get an accurate measurement because the, the, the stuff is in the way. So it could be 78, but I think it's residential king. All right. Um, up there at the front, of course, you've got some nightstands. There's power. There's USB charging ports. There's places to put your CPAP machines and stuff like that. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Lisa, what is that? What is what? Is, is that a ducky in my pocket or am I just happy to see you? I think that's a ducky in your pocket. It's a ducky in my pocket. Look at that. Blake, the ducky. <laughs> Inside joke, y'all watching. Anyway. All right. So across from the, the bed, um, your sort of uh, your wardrobe and, and entertainment area, if you will, right? Decent sized TV. Okay. And again, this is on a cat in, in a cabinet that goes up oh, and so that. you I can store those. stuff behind there yeah it's great design it, it really is, is. Um, so you're hanging stuff in here right there's your little uh, cocktail table for the front by the way oh by the okay. driver's seat got it okay uh, you got uh, six drawers right right which those are, nice are and deep. huge drawers and then you got storage over there right okay um, we didn't cover this but in the kitchen there's sort of this cabinet here too I've got a couple of bins in there which is nice so you, it does that, it's its own little slide out Right? It's kind of nice. Okay? You seeing that all right? Okay. Uh, not really, but... Oh, here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we should have said something. See, look at this. A little pull out. There you go. All right, going to the back. All right. Let's check out this toilet. Oh, yeah, this one's great, guys. All right, this is the tall man toilet. That's the guest toilet for the, for the, for the, for the vertically challenged people. That's the toilet for them. This is the tall man toilet. <laughs> Plenty of space here, guys, and it is very, very comfortable. Okay? Um, lots of cabinet space in here, guys. Right, so put some towels up there if you want or whatever, or towels, you know, down here if you want, okay? The storage underneath there as well. It's got a drawer there. The nice countertop that goes the whole length in here. Mm -hmm. We've got a bum gun in the back too. A bum gun, nice. Another bum gun. Okay. All right, and then the shower. Let's get in that shower and check it out. All right. There's another tall man behind you. See, we're, we're working this for you, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, see, look at this. You're going to fit just fine in here, my friend. What are you about six foot four yourself? I used to be. I'm used going to, be. to six, six. Yeah. Six four. Six, four? Yeah. Okay. yeah. You walked into my yeah, my height. You call the tall and you go fly economy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's, it's great. So there's plenty of room in here. Actually, a generous shower. I think it's thirty six by thirty six. So I think you're right. It's very comfortable. Yeah. We could both fit in here. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We could uh, water save. Right. Nice. Uh, <laughs> right. Shower head. Right. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. A mini Winnie. Right. A class. C, right? Built on a Ford chassis. Now, it this is, is an A. Oh, sorry, Class A. Yeah, this right, is a sorry. Class A. A class A. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's, our channel's called Tall Man's RV Reviews. We do a reason oh, because really? it's kind of hard to find stuff for tall people. Yes, it is. Now, I'll give you one the opposite. Okay. Short people seat belts. Oh. Short people seat belts. Yeah, seat belts. you get strangled. Yes. Chipping. Oh. They, Tiffin's got good short people seat belts. You need two of them where they can slide like in your you need oh, to nice. be able to slide them on a track like yeah. you can in a, car. in a car. I never thought about that. Yeah. Yes. I just assumed that all of them would be, but they're no. not. Okay. You know, they can't. We said, can you refit it? And it's, you know, they got to go back to the automobile the uh, DOT stuff. So anybody from Winnebago, I can oh, yeah. engineers go. put them in on these tracks. All right. So oh, we, wow. we've got tall man yes. issues and short people issues. We do. <laughs> right? Well, we lived it because it's our life. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> we, I'm looking right in the mirror and all you see is her, all she can see is her. Yeah, he's like, this mirror is great. I'm like, yeah, I see my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it's like, if it's good for the tall people, maybe the short people get left out. If it's good for the short people, then the tall people get left out. we got to find one that can cover both. Right. All right, again, uh, as I always come out, I, I said Class C. I was wrong again. This is a Class A. Yes. It is not a diesel pusher. It is gas built on a Ford chassis. Correct. This is the Vista 33K. Right, that's the uh, MSRP, and that's what they sell it for here at the show, 169. Okay, so let's cover at least one more. In fact, let's go in this Forza down here. Again, this is another Class A. This is a little bit more on the expensive side, but not nearly as expensive as the ones we had uh, looked at yesterday. 
So this is 35 uh, feet, six inches. It's the Forza. You can see the price here is 272. But when you're talking about Winnebago, they are all across the board. You can find class A's of theirs for 120 on up, okay? Um, but this is on the high end of their, their class A uh, offerings, if you will, okay? Beautiful paint job, right? Got two awnings that cover the entire side. And so let's go in. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, you can just tell right when you walk in, Lisa, you know, the difference in the quality of what you pay for and the money, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and we've mentioned this before in the streams. If you're new to the streams and you're just hearing us for the first time and stuff, um, RVing is very, very simple when it comes to dollars, okay? The lower the dollars, the, the less niceties. I, I don't want to say quality. It doesn't mean that the craftsmanship is crappy. It just means here, we'll just turn this around for a minute so you can see us. It just means the niceties aren't there. You, you, you got to... You gotta scrimp somewhere. Yes. Right? And mm -hmm. so the more expensive the RVs are, the more niceties. Whether it's the wood grain, you know, stuff, uh, cabinetry, solid surface countertops, you know, it, it, fireplaces, uh, you know, um, uh, like uh, this one in here, you, you can't see because of the angle that I have it, but the ceiling is all sort of leathery, soft. It's just, there's, there's something you're getting for the extra money. Yes. Okay? But, at least with Winnebago, they've got Class A's. If you're looking for something longer and you want to drive, you, you don't want to pull it with a truck. If you want to drive in a Class A, they've got ones that are in the you know $120,000, $30,000 range. You don't have to go buy the the $500,000 ones that we were looking at yesterday. Or the there was one that I think we looked at was like eight or nine hundred thousand. Yeah, we looked yeah. at one that was a million. Well, we looked at some Prevos too, and they were yeah. like two point eight. Oh, million, well, that's true too. So, give me well. a second. We're gonna have a drink, and then we're gonna look at this one for you guys. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and one of the the things that he was talking about too with the price point um, in the Class A, um, you have uh, the the gas or the diesel. Correct. The and gas ones are less expensive. But they do not pull as much weight. So if you're looking at pulling a tow, uh, or not tow vehicle, but if you're looking at towing a vehicle or you know putting something heavy in there, then you're probably going to want to go with a yeah, diesel. Yeah, you, you, you could tow a small vehicle with a gas-powered, or uh, a gas engine. Like on this, this is a Ford chassis. Uh, um, actually, no, this is a Freightliner chassis. This is a Freightliner? This is a Freightliner. I just looked over there. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll turn this back around again. Hmm. This, this one's built on a Freightliner chassis. Um, but I wonder if this is actually diesel then. It might be because of the cost upgrade, okay? Um, we'll have to go look. When, uh, hey, Lisa, go, go look, see if you can find the, uh, where the gas goes in or diesel and see if it says that. You got air brakes in here, right? I mean, it just, again, we've jumped up from the, you know, 100 and something to the nearly $300,000, okay? Um, up above the driver's seat is, is your, your bed. It's sort of a hide a bed. This, this goes up. It's, uh, sorry, there is lights in here, so, oh, hang on, we'll turn it on. Oh, there's no power. So, anyway, um, so there's your hide a bed right there up in the front. We were sitting in the theater chairs, right, so right there. These little plasticky sort of looking like things, this is uh, where you put in your little uh, sort of little tables, right, little uh, end, end table-y kind of things, little snack trays, okay. Um, they do recline, by the way. And then right across from that is your entertainment system, right? You got your nice TV there, which is awesome. Some cabinetry above. You got a fireplace down below, which is awesome. And Lisa's still outside, so here she comes. Um, there's your dinette, which again, this is the legless table. So you've got uh, the leg room in there for the tall people. Uh, cabinetry all above, okay? Then as we turn, we get into the kitchen. But if you're looking here, these are also cabinets. So you can store stuff in here. It's all finished off and carpeted, which is nice. And then into the little kitchen. Now, the kitchen is on a slide. In fact, this whole side from right here all the way to the back is on a slide. And so what's neat is this part of the L right here, it doesn't move. But you can see there's a gap between the, the countertops, that's so the slide can slide over it. Don't worry about it, Lisa. Yeah, it was locked, so I'm just looking to see if I see anything anywhere that, that yeah. yeah. I mean, typically at the size it's not, but you know, on a Freightliner chassis, I, I, I thought they were all diesel. Here, I'll tell you what, 
why don't you talk to them about the kitchen? We were just talking about the kitchen, and I'll go into the cockpit and look in there. All right. Um, so in the kitchen, this is very nice. Um, we have uh, a solid surface countertops. We have a 50-50 sink. Um, we have on the side, we have this piece here that raises up. So if you need additional countertop space, you have that. Uh, below the sink, we have storage cabinets with plastic all in there, <laughs> but those are pretty big cabinets underneath there. Um, we do have a Whirlpool microwave. This looks to be really big. Let's see. Um, we have a three burner stove. Underneath that, we have some storage drawers. And next to that, we have some more storage drawers. So a lot of storage I, drawers in I, there. I found the keys. I'm going to go unlock it. Oh, okay. Very nice. And then we have overhead cabinets as well. And these have a little shelf in there. So that's nice. I do like that. Um, there is power over here. A little, um, little window there for venting if you need that. Um, looks like there's some more power back here. And let's see, our refrigerator is a Whirlpool. And I believe that is a 12 volt. That's what that looks like to me. It looks like it's a residential. Um, let's see, do we have any more storage in the kitchen? No, I don't think we do. Can we access from this side? Sometimes we can, no, we do not. Okay, um, so then we'll go back here and see what's in this cabinet and we have a stackable washer and dryer. Very nice. Diesel. It is diesel. This one's diesel. All right. Well, very nice. And there's a look back at the kitchen too, so you can get a better view of that. All right. Have, have we have we have we looked into the special room? We have not. I was saying oh, that for you. Oh, another bum gun. <laughs> All right, I think this is gonna fit. This is not a half bath. This is your full bath. And as you can see, plenty of room in here, guys. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we have we have lights? We do. We, we have, have lights, lights in here. Let's turn some lights on. Okay. Nice. Very comfortable. There's some storage everywhere. That's actually not really storage down there. Okay. A little bit. Drawer here. TP holder there, there's a little slot down there for some magazines and stuff. You got your medicine chest here, which is awesome. And uh, again, you can see yourself just fine. And some cabinetry up here, okay? Very nice. Yep. As you, uh, the shower. I'm worried about this one too, this is raised. No, nope, but it's just fine. Is it? Nice. Yep. Um, there we go. Six fingers above okay. me, so six, eight. Oh, very nice. Yep. Yep. And it does, the um, the bubble does go in the direction. Yep, correct, yep. There's actually a light in the bubble too, which is interesting. That is nice, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's below me, but you know, you can still <laughs> you can see, all right. All right, and there is a little built-in bench in there as well. Yep. I think this bed is a sleep number bed. Do you think? I see a control, and to me that typically means sleep. Ah. Now, uh, a sleep number. All right. Freedom. It, well, it's a Freedom Air, but it's it's the same thing. Okay. Um, Seventy-two by eighty, so it is not residential. It is a, a an, an RV, RV king, king, but um, it's it's a high-end mattress, guys. Okay. Uh, so when you come in here or to the right of the bed, there's a nice sliding cabinet. Okay. Hang space. Yep. Okay. Did you uh, show them washer and dryer? I okay. did. Awesome. And that cabinet's back here as well. Okay. There's some drawers down here at the bottom as well. Right. Right. Both of them. Now, you can't open it all the way, but you can still get your hand in there to get stuff. Okay. okay. Very nice. Above cabinetry all the way around, which is awesome. Right. Um, and then there's a TV. Okay. Right here. Um, here. Uh, I'll take it. There you go. TV right there, everybody. Woohoo! All right. Now, so, yeah, what? the Forza. One thing I notice about this, you do have a full length, full -length mirror, mirror here, yeah. but you do have a wide space. Um, it's a little bit tight here, um, but I was thinking maybe. Well, let's see how tight that is. Yeah, let's see how tight that I is. I got a tape measure. I'm, I'm not afraid to use it. 26. 26 inches, okay. 26 inches. So 
I wouldn't say that's handicapped accessible, but um, it's not bad. Yeah, it's it's decent space to get through. All right, so let's go out. All righty. Everybody, thanks for joining the stream. We've been at it now for for just about two hours. We'll cover one more for you guys. Let's go down here. Let's look at an adventure. Actually, you know what, Lisa? Let's let's go back down. We talked about um, some of their lower end ones. Okay. Right. Um, let's let's show them one that's in the hundred thousand dollar range. All right. Okay. Um, not you no, know, not everybody wants to spend two hundred something thousand, you know, on one. But you know, maybe they're fine with a hundred and twenty. Like right here. Here's a mini Winnie. Here we go. go. We'll, we'll switch up. All right. The water. There's this. So this is the mini Winnie. This is a thirty one. Oh, this is a class C. It's not a class A. This is a class C? Yeah, it's a class C. Oh, it's a class C. Ah, look mm -hmm. at that. I wanted to find a class A. All right, so we're going to find a class A. We'll um, turn in the corner. We're going to Vista. Let's see. I don't see any information on the Vista. Um, that one's 270. That's a Forza. Did we look at this one? That's 169. I think so. I think, I think that's, that's one the one we went we into. At. So what are you talking about? That's 169. Yeah. So hang on one second. So we'll go ahead and look at this one, Lisa, anyway, even though there's nothing on it. Okay. Um, maybe it's up here. Nope. So this is probably going to be in the 140 to 160 range. Um, there's just no price point on it. And maybe we'll ask somebody for you. But um, if somebody's watching us, if you don't mind, look online. Um, there's hopefully some information on it in here for the, even the model number. Let's see. Model E31B. Again, model E31B. Okay. Uh, there's... Do we have pricing on there? No. There's some information on there. Again, you can see that it's the WF um, E31B. It's 31 feet long. Um, uh, it's just a little actually it's not real price there's like three thousand dollars in options that's all that is somebody do us a favor look up the 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 again it's a winnebago it's a 30 uh, e 31 b let us know what it retails for okay yeah i don't um, see any pricing anywhere this is built on a ford chassis so it is gas mm -hmm. so again i'm figuring it's going to be retail for somewhere around 140 to 160 this particular one okay um, there you got your hide a bed up top, mm -hmm. right? That just you know, you push a button and it goes up and down, All right? There there are some nooks up here as well. It's very comfortable up there, Lisa. Very nice. Very sort of wide. Yeah. Really nice. Very nice. Okay. Right when you walk in the door, where this nice lady's coming in, you can see no, there's sort of your living room. Not for bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so this overlooks the dining table where your TV is right above it, so it's very comfortable. We were in one that sort of looked like this not too long ago. I mean, it had that bottle of wine, the, the Woodbridge. Yeah. This one's got a bottle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, there's your dinette. This again, remember your your, uh, your legless dinette. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're into the yeah, And I think this one looks very similar to the other one that was Deep. there counters up there. Yeah, we've got the 50-50 sink, the solid surface. Um, I, this is a little, right I love that they took advantage of the space, space with the sink, right? And then we have, um, there's plenty of room underneath the sink. Oh yeah. This one doesn't have all the plastic underneath. That's going to have to be where the garbage can goes. Yeah, probably so. Since we were talking about garbage cans earlier. And then more storage nice here. I love the pull -outs. You know Why the pull outs perfect? Because the, the, this really deep countertop. Yeah, you got to reach. You wouldn't be able to get in there. No. And so they, they figured that out and they put a pull out tray in there so you can use all the space. Exactly. So we had a Greystone microwave. Yep. Uh, we have a three burner gas stove with an oven and a storage drawer underneath. All right. On this side, we have the... Oh, look at this, Lisa. Sorry. Let's see if it works. Look at that. Very All nice. All right, somebody gave us the price. Uh, it says 55,000 for a 2022, so it's probably around that. And they've been given really good discounts off the MSRP here at the show. So if you're anywhere in this area, um, yeah, it's probably even less than that. So it's probably, we could probably 
155, Lisa, not 55. I said 155, oh, I didn't I, I? I only heard 55. I thought I said 155. That's okay. If all I right. didn't, I apologize. All right, so You're probably your right. I say things all the time. 12-volt fridge, mm -hmm. freezer. Nice, or freezer fridge. <laughs> you got your... Oh, and the little, little trays. The yep. little double U trays. Yeah, I, I like the little Winnebago trays. Right, those yeah. are cute. And uh, here's your bathroom right here. So let's go give it the tall man toilet test. Oh, there's two ways in. So you can access from the living room, but if you see, there's also a door to the bedroom. Look, I like a that. door for the bedroom. Yeah, so. and I like that there's places to hang your towels on the door too. That's nice. Yep. All right, so uh, again, we got another toilet with a bum gun. Mm-hmm. All right, for those who are into boating, bum guns. <laughs> so we're in a head we're not in the bathroom we're in the head okay so um my feet are touching the shower but it's it's not uncomfortable i didn't have to move them so at my height of six foot four this is just right if your legs are any longer than mine you may have to augment your position slightly okay um, the toilet's actually elevated so it's quite comfortable for me <laughs> if you're short it may not be so comfortable this is really comfortable for me <laughs> to my right is uh, under kind of out sink, and if you see just enough room for your your uh, toothbrushes and a little soap, okay, a little cabinet underneath here, and there is a pull-out drawer all the way at the bottom. Lisa. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, hmm. so let's. Um, I'm a little uh, oh mirror. Yeah, let's give it the from here down. I can't see my entire head, but pretty darn close to it. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's climb in that shower. It is obviously a sort of little corner round shower. Um, and surprisingly, I thought I was going to have a problem, uh, but I do not. Very nice. Um, the bubble is just in a good place. And so, yeah, not bad at all. Awesome. Though I will add this. Okay. Lisa, put that back up there. Okay. All right. You see where the, the, the door ends, right? Yes. You see where my head is, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think is going to happen when I'm washing and rinsing my hair? <laughs> I mean, really. You're going to have the, the bathroom floor is going to be totally wet. <laughs> yeah. So, it just, again, from a tall man's perspective, it's going to be water that gets, I mean, it's not going to be flooded, but you're going to have to keep some towels down there. Yeah. Just, you know, I don't know if you think about these things. We do because I'm tall. <laughs> <laughs> we live these things. We live these things. And again, there, there, as I mentioned, there is a door um, here. It's, it's locked off here, but here we go. So you can have privacy in the bedroom, okay? Very nice. Right, so why don't you go that way and I'll meet you in the bedroom. All righty. Look what's over here. What's over where? Oh, bunks! We yeah, forgot the bunks! Yeah, look at that. Look at that. On the way to the bedroom, there's bunks. Right. Oh, and look at this one. Come here. All right, hang on. Trying to gather everything here. What am I looking at? Look at that. It's got that. a TV in there. You, you were you were the right way. I was Lisa. the right way. You were the right way. Look at that. That's the TV screen. Nice. Right. Um, this bunk also goes up if you don't want to use it as a bunk, um, and you can pull this out and that becomes storage. Uh, you know, like a hanging bar. Nice. Right. The bottom also has its own TV. Look at that. And so if you're in here with the kids, they don't have to fight over what to watch. One that. can watch Blimpy and the other can watch. Uh, Dora. You know, or, yeah, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the. Uh, the, the Teenage Newton Ninja Turtles. Yeah, you could do that too. All right. All right, now, um, for that front bed, the ladder is hung right here. Oh, interesting. So you can pull it off there and put it up front for that bed up there. Yeah, I never would have thought to put a ladder now, there. That's actually You see really where I'm clever. standing, right? Yes. All right, this bed's kind of high. But if you come in here, the there, next to the bed, there's a, a step up. Mm -hmm. So you can get into the bed from the sides easier Easy. yes from here i mean i would be all right but i'd for have anyone, to jump <laughs> yeah for anyone else you're gonna have to jump okay <laughs> from a size wise this is probably not more than a residential king but we're gonna measure it for you yep 60 and again the pillows are in the way i'm not gonna move them so we're just gonna 60 by let's go 60 by 76. okay so it is so an, it's an rv, RV queen, queen. Okay, so not exactly a queen queen, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I love the personality they put in yeah. here. There's yeah. a little cubby uh, uh, on that side of the bed. Yeah. There's also a little cubby on the other side of the bed. Yep. And there's some power in there. That's that black thing. I that, see that, see, yeah. That little, that's some power back there. It looks like there and, might and be. And there's power on this side as well behind the owl. Yeah. Okay. There Very is nice. some cabinetry to the left, to the right, and above. And as well we as a little door. Shelves on this side and a little drawer. Yep. 
and there's no hanging space because the hanging space is right in front of the bed. Look at that. Where the entertainment system is. Yep. And so there's your sort of wardrobe for hanging stuff. Mm -hmm. Right? There's your little table that goes up front. Oh, yep, your there it is. Cocktail yep, table. I see it now. Right? Yep. Remember, we're, we're in, in a class A. This one sells for somewhere around 150, 160. Yes. Um, on the lower end of the scale. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it but is. you're not really, you know, missing really any niceties. No, these drawers are huge yeah. here. All right, so it doesn't have solid surface countertops, and it's not tiled floor, it's laminate. Okay, it doesn't have soft closed doors, right? You're missing a few things. Actually. But, oh, it is solid surface in this one. Okay, it, it is. is. Forgive me. <laughs> it's not stainless. It's, it's not stainless. It, no, it is plastic, but it is solid surface. All right, let's climb in here, Lisa. Okay. Uh, All right, and I'm gonna just put this down. Oh, did, did I do that again? Oh, I did that again. Sorry about that, everybody. I apologize. I hit the buttons. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we've been on with you for I think uh, a little over two hours now. Mm -hmm. And so uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the morning. We looked at all, it was Winnebago morning. Yes. We covered tiny travel trailers from their micros, their minis, their flexes, which uh, are uh, Those RV are of the year. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, we looked at uh, class A's, class B's, class C's. Mm -hmm. um, and we're still in Winnebago. Yes. We looked at one of their diesel pushers as, as well as some of their gas ones. Mm -hmm. So you had just a wide variety of, of things this morning um, to look at in all different price points. And so um, um, hopefully you enjoyed. You know, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much. We appreciate you watching. Yes. Wow button, you know, all those <laughs> nice things, right? Become part of the Tall Man Clan. We really do appreciate it. Um, if we haven't mentioned it throughout, we apologize. But uh, do us a favor. If there is something you're looking for, please let us know. Yeah. Leave a comment down there. If you're watching the replay, um, we're going to stick around for just a couple minutes. If you want to put a comment in now, great. But if not, if you're watching the replay, leave a comment. We will gladly uh, go look at it for you. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're, not everybody has access uh, to RV dealers in the town, but they're, they're avid RVers. Not everybody has access to all the different models that are out there because maybe their local dealer only can carry a couple of things. Yes. Right? And so just about everybody is here, especially, excuse me, the East Coasters. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. There are some different types of RVs in the West Coast that you don't see represented And out some here. up north as well, you know, the, the ice um, castles. Yeah, ice houses. Yeah, ice houses. There's no reason to have an ice house in, in Florida. Florida. <laughs> uh, we had, where were we? Was it Minnesota? Um, it was Minnesota. Yeah, I believe it was Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. and we saw some mm -hmm. ice houses for the very first time. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So we saw some ice houses. And we're like, I didn't know travel trailers. It was, um, who did it? I think it wasn't it Ice Castle, wasn't it? Well, movie? Ice Castle made some, but it was... Um, Oh, uh, Gray um, Wolf. Gray Wolf. Yes. Yeah. So the tires, it's a regular travel trailer, but when you get to the ice, the, tr uh, the tires retract back up and, pff, and right just, down on the ice. Yeah. Very Had cool. no idea they made them right. until so, we went up north. So if there's something you're looking for um, and you have a hard time finding it, ask, um, and we will look for it. We, we've had a few models that aren't here. Even though this is the second largest RV show in this country, they're just, believe it or not, it's just only so much space. Um, these manufacturers, they make a ton of different models um, and they just can't fit it all on their, their little, I say little, uh, little space. So, but go ahead and ask and, and we'll gladly do our best to find out, okay? Um, so if I don't see any questions now, I guess, oh, there, somebody just came in, there was Nathan. Hey buddy, how you doing today? Want, Want a small, small fifth, fifth wheel, wheel that has bells, bells and, and whistles. whistles. Looks like you have to go big to get that. So I'll tell you what, Nathan, um, Go back, if you don't mind, to our day, um, our, our um, industry day video, the very first stream that we did. We were with Cougar. Mm -hmm. um, they have a couple of brand new, uh, they have a new model out. Uh, there's two of them. It's called the Cougar Sport. Um, there's one that's smaller, um, not too small, it's like 25 feet ish. And then there's um, one that's a little bit longer in a bunkhouse. Um, there's solar on board. Yeah, um, really nice. I, I, you know, it, it, it's not a million dollar, you know, RV, but we liked them. Um, and mm -hmm. it may fit the bill for you. So again, it was the stream we did on the very first day. Um, so that would have been Tuesday. Um, it's titled uh, Industry Day Part One. Mm -hmm. And they're literally the first two that we looked at. Remember your solo. Right. So yeah. So it's the, it, I believe it's the Sport 
twenty two hundred or twenty one hundred. Um, yeah, go check out from the very first day, industry day, part one, the very first RV we look at. Um, I think uh, you'll you'll like that one. It's twenty five feet. Um, and it's got some niceties in it. Yeah, let us know. We, one, we liked it. One of it being solar. Yes. 400 which, watts of solar. Um, and so you got power yes. everywhere. Yes. Um, which is great. So hopefully that'll work for you. Yeah, let us know what you think about that one. Right. So it's uh, about 20 after 12 East Coast time. Um, we're going to take a break for a few hours, uh, recharge our devices because we just got the your, your battery about to die. <laughs> we, we, we again, we were here well before hours. Uh, o opened up, did some recording, which will uh, produce those videos and put them out for you. So um, we like to do both, do some streaming and then cover some other things. So um, we'll be putting those out. So the, the phones are dead. So we're going to go charge them for you guys, and we'll be back probably around two to three. Okay, and so uh, have a good lunch, get a little nap yourself. We won't get that choice. And then we'll uh, we'll be back with you in a few hours. Oh, you bet. You're very welcome, Nathan. Yep, not a problem. <laughs> so we'll see you in a few hours. Yeah. Until then, be safe.